Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tabletop Notch. Tonight's chapter is chapter 96. And for those of you who didn't watch ep- last episode... Spicy? It was a little <laughs> contentious. That's the word I was looking yes. for. Contentious. contentious. Strained. Yes. What was it? Strained bedfellows? We'll get, we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! During the break, I'm going to change the title. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nailing it. Nailing it. Yes, a a contentious episode, but with a lot of um, uh, promising leads in certain areas, although we lost one important lead with Miss Bridget Hotel. But before we dive into the meat of tonight's episode, where we are now back uh, in Wamparanina and uh, sort of tying up a few loose ends before we uh, head out tomorrow, hopefully, we have our usual announcement, so I'll throw it over to you guys to uh, do your thing. Okay, perfect. Somebody was saying we had no sound and I got nervous, but their computer was just muted, so (laughs) we're killing it so far. So we have a lot of new followers. What are you doing? Do you have a question that I'm going to shout out first? (laughs) Um, uh, a hopeful optimist bid it at the very end when we had already mm. signed it off last week, so they bid it 100, and then they bid it again 100 just now, so thank oh, you very oh, much. so timely. <laughs> thank you. And the, like, they were like, ends. I better get acknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got some new subs that I didn't get a chance to say anything to, so Two Rivers Longbow, Kieran James 86, mm. uh, uh, Cole Schaefer, and Havoc 0911 oh. all subbed mm. in thank like, you guys. the last So, 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 so much. Um, your support means the world as always um it's wild yeah i mean it's crazy and we're so excited to keep bringing you content week after week yeah we will continue to do so um point there you go (laughs) okay if you are on a desktop watching twitch if you take your cursor and hover over our stream here yeah, it's, that's it. Like There's going to be a little Q icon, and it's a, it's our little quest tracker, so if you're new and trying to figure out like where we are in the campaign, <laughs> this is all stuff that's kind of like on our immediate future, maybe stuff that we're going to be arguing about, just some context for oh, you. Oh, definitely. Feel free to utilize that at your discretion. There's also a new command oh, inspired oh. by Night Munch, and I'm going to put it in chat, oh, uh, newbie, and it does oh, like a nice. little bit of information uh like about each character, just like a quick oh. little summary about what we're doing yeah, and why we're in this world. <laughs> I just did it, baby. Hey. Oh, and have it just gifted hey. five hey. subs. Holy goodness yeah. gracious. Thank, Thank you. you so very much. Yeah. That's very Thank exciting you. and wow. surprising. Um, he loved that newbie button so, so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, and I think that is all for me. So thank you all very um, much. I'm learning about Erland once. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll learning say, uh, I recognize a lot of those, or some of those names from the Discord. And yes. Yes. join us there. Thank you. Uh, uh, we were a small community, but we're growing. And, and I think there's a link uh, down. Oh, there's a link right now. Um, join us there. Uh, there's a lot of people talking about old episodes, new episodes. Codes, posting clips and stuff. So. Homebrew shit. If you want to download it and use it in your own games, it's all oh, yes. good. Yes. It's been a lot of fun. I know Anthony sometimes shows us some of the little comments that are people making, mm-hmm. some theories and thoughts and things, and mm-hmm. it's it's a lot of fun. It's great. It's fun to hear people's thoughts. Yes. Um, and the cast pitches in as well. So if you have yeah. questions for oh, them, yeah. feel a lot free of to. Yeah. Lots of thoughts. Oh my God. <laughs> Last episode. Guys have to teach you too many to thoughts. Wait, are we thoughts? thoughts? No, are we dial, thoughts? Dial, dial no thoughts. not we have thoughts, oh, not we okay. are thoughts. Yeah, oh, not like sure. never like, confusing. Like, Just tell them about the goddamn T-H-O-D. podcast. T-H-O-D. Speaking of thoughts, when you like in your head, if you <laughs> miss an episode, keep going, keep going. We're getting there. You miss. How do I tie it? I don't do know. It. If Just you miss an it. episode um, and you think to yourself, "Ah, I missed the episode. I wish I could hear it in another way." Uh, we release every one. episode. <laughs> fucking nailed it. We release every episode in podcast form every Tuesday morning Indeed. on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, wherever else you get your podcasts. And then every Friday at 5 p.m. on YouTube, we do a re air. Usually a couple of us are, are in chat. Uh, it was actually fun this week. We yeah. were all chatting and. Uh, <laughs> Post all the other Yeah, it's never fun. fun. It's, it's, it was, sometimes it was, it's an absolute it well, drag, but. It was fun to watch back the <laughs> nonsense that was last week. Yes. Yeah. Chaotic. Yeah. Spicy. From the calmness of our own homes. Chaotic. And, and then follow us on social medias. A lot of you probably already found us through Instagram and TikTok um, at Tabletop Notch. And on Twitter, we are at Tabletop underscore Notch. 
Awesome. I know our announcements keep getting longer and longer, but I will quickly reiterate that after episode 100, we're going to be having season two of A Peek Beneath the Veil, which is sort of a little reboot. Great spot to jump in if you are working on the backlog of episodes or just want to jump in live. New intro, new reintroduction to the world and lore, some character recap stuff. Uh, new character art, new overlays, all kinds of stuff. So that was the speed version of saying there's a lot of really cool new stuff to come, especially for people who are jumping on board sort of uh, later in the trip. last couple which of weeks, yeah. Which is awesome. Is yeah. episode 100 the end of season one or the beginning of season two? That should be, unless you guys are like, Fuck all these things. We're out of here. <laughs> I mean, fuck We're somebody. targeting <laughs> season, uh, episode 100 to be the end of season one. Okay. And then two, 101 will be season 201. Oh my gosh. Five more episodes That's left. Oh season my one. god. Uh, yeah. One subject to change. Don't talk about 101 your shit is together. The talk. I don't know. And yeah. then 201. Oh, well, the talk will be unlabeled. It won't be called a okay. chapter. No. But yes, there's a little talk back in between. 100B. I tried to make that short. But in, in any case... Let's throw it over to the intro, oh, and when we come back, no. we will dive into chapter 96. I'm nervous for this week. I'm a big beneath the veil. Show. This is a scary episode. Why are we doing this? Chapter 95, Strained Bedfellows. <laughs> the distaste of our failed rescue attempt hung in the air around us like a fog. While attempting to process the disappointment of seeing Marvin carted away, Erland made for the now abandoned cabin by the pond, and the others followed, though Graven stressed the need to return to the city in a timely manner. Inside the lodge, Erland found a few of Marvin's belongings left behind in the hasty retreat. But more than that, he found the simmering beginnings of a fight that would come to a boil several times over the course of our walk back to Navikapur. Erland believed that Graven had put the mission in jeopardy when he disobeyed an order to stay hidden while tracking Shakar through the woods. Graven believed that Erland's tunnel vision kept him from seeing the obvious truth that the mission was doomed to begin with doubly so while being pursued by a mess of our own making. And Safira believed that once again a lack of transparency had forced us into making imperfect snap decisions that could have been avoided with a better, clearer plan. Tensions were high and punches were thrown, <laughs> but it wasn't getting us any closer to dealing with the most pressing issue of whether Shakar was done interfering in our affairs. Safira used her ability to speak with animals to consult an ornery crane and learned that the tiefling trickster may not have gotten too far ahead of us, but despite a quickened pace, we never quite caught up, and by the time we got back to the Crabber's community, we'd completely lost the trail. Our horses tied up there were undisturbed, but Orba found a mocking note in one of her saddlebags, complete with a riddle that only vexed us further. The villagers here were of little help, and the lookout left behind by Marvin's captors felt unthreatened in such a public space. Not that he seemed to know much anyway, beyond the names of his superiors. After a bit more bickering over an optimistic flyer that Safira wanted to post of Shakar's <laughs> likeness, we saddled up and we rode back to Wamparanina, reaching the deck by the early evening, with some loose plans in place about where to spend the night and what to do with the waning hours of the day. Through the window, Graven spotted a familiar face, this time, thankfully, a friendly one, 
as Villapont Willoughby was enjoying a drink at the popular tavern. We told him what we'd learned about Mr. Two and the carrion crawler at the Broken Crown outpost, but without knowing where the wizard had gone after last night's crystal smashing, there wasn't much to follow up on. While Orba and Erland had a private disagreement about to what extent Graven could be trusted going forward, the others took turns probing Villapont over whether he could track down Shakar for us, and though it seemed the task was within his purview, he could smell the bad blood and was reluctant to hand deliver a man to be murdered. Still, Safira convinced him to do his best to set up a meeting somewhere public, and until then we could mull over what we might say to Shakar if we were finally granted the opportunity. Erlin made plans to take the Steederway back to Naupa, and it seemed we'd all be heading westward in time. But a message passed along from Palomar Franco said that if we wanted to look at his wares, we'd have to do so now. So it was off to Fangle for perhaps a bit of barter. As the twitchy tall ports tinkerer unveiled an assortment of tempting magical trinkets, we took a breath to separate ourselves from the stresses of the day, and we wondered. Even if we solved Shikar's riddle, would it be a mistake to show up at a location of his choosing? Does Cliff Ironcloud need to hire someone to protect us from ourselves? And would we ever again see a hidden message grace the infamous page 216 of Grimari's giant grimoire? Oh, that's a sad question. We find out now, in chapter 96 of A Peek Beneath the Bay. Usually it's a funny question. It was no, a that's a sad question. question. Twist in the <laughs> Sad. I quit. And <laughs> <laughs> just leaves. <laughs> With Villapont on the case, at least in some capacity, Safira pushes her way through the crowd at the deck. Like the troubled child in a classroom amongst his peers, she finds Erland quiet and still at the bar, surrounded <laughs> by abundant revelry, sloshing ales spattering on the floor near his feet, and the uneven light of a chandelier rocking back and forth overhead as Brick's bird has perched itself on one side. After a long day of traveling on foot, and an even longer day of arguing, the idea of planting yourself beside the regulars and knocking back a few raven's feathers stouts is oh so enticing. <laughs> but even just looking at the row of seats before you triggers a once-bitten, twice-shy mentality, <laughs> as it was the very spot where Shakar's note was produced and discussed before pocketing it and riding south. From the cheering in the far corner, some other test of strength or intestinal fortitude must have just begun, and you get to the counter just as someone is loading up a tray of seven or eight ales to bring to a particularly thirsty table. <laughs> so they kind of pushes past Erlen a little bit, loading up each of the cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right. it up, yep. pushes his way through. You meet Erlen there at the bar of the deck. And I'm going to kind of, as I go up to him, give him like a clap on the back and kind of, all right. Keep my eye out for Shakar. <laughs> give me oh a perception check. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> 13. How are you doing, Ella? <laughs> it's crowded in here, but you, you, you certainly looking around the room doesn't draw any suspicion, so you can freely kind of look around and you don't catch sight of anyone there. Um, so, I talked to Villapont, uh, the private investigator guy, and um, turns out uh, he's not booked up. Um, I. Uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a problem, right? Um, dealing with that later. But I told him to get a message to Sakar because he seemed very unwilling to, um, I don't know, basically send a man to his death is what he said. But what I said is technically he would be sending himself to his own death because, you know, he, he did want to do well in the first place and he did threaten to kill you. So anyway, we agreed on him getting a message to Sakar and... Hopefully, that message will be sent and received tonight, and he might meet us at the Uber Hill, Ale House, I mean, supposedly, so... What is the message? Uh, the message is, uh, Erland wants to have the duel have it out. Do you want to come here and, and do it? And meet me at the, U at the Uber Ale House? Have a duel at the Uber Ale House? I mean, look, if you've got a better idea for the message, I mean, I'm assuming I'm still, I'm looking around for Villapont. You look back at the table where you talked to Villapont? He's gone. Yeah, there's, he an, there's a half-drunk kind of uh, well, tankard of mead sitting at the table there. It looks like he's fucked off and gone to do the job now. But I'm, I, I was hopeful that, you know... I, 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 maybe you should have had this conversation. But I thought that that was relevant. Anyway, I also gave him the riddle. Um, but I did tell him that it was likely a trap. 
Um, and if we've solved it, then, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because I don't think we need to go. Did We're not doing this on his terms anymore. Did he have any I'm thoughts concerned. on the riddle? Any advice? I mean, no, he sort of thunk it over and said, I'll do what I can. He didn't, you know, mention anything specifically about it. Why? I've been thinking that I may know where to find him. Okay, Erland, based on the riddle or based on what? Based on the riddle. No. <laughs> no, seriously, no. You're not going to like this answer, but based on the riddle. <laughs> no, we're not fucking around with that, no. Look, Erland, the last... Come on, we can't. The last time we did this... What if we paid someone to go in my stead? What if we paid no, no, Sigra to disguise no, herself as because, me? Because to you see if he... How would you feel if Sigra disguised trap? herself as you and died? Pretty well, then, shit? Then perhaps... Pretty we, shit? We I could. hope is it. Hang on. Is the answer pretty shit? I would shit? feel bad. Yes, Good, I like Sigra, but perhaps then... He could. He would be a no, wanted man. I thought this sentence was going to end at "I like Segra." Right, but if he was convicted, if he was, if he murdered some innocent person, then we could get the town and on him. Perhaps. No, no, uh, we're not sending an innocent woman in your stead to be murdered. Are you serious? That's a little desperate, don't we think? Probably wouldn't work anyway. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> probably. So, I think our best chance... Should we scout we have out two the options. area? It's very close. No, we should not. Because then we're doing this on his terms. If he knows the area, if he knows we're going to come, then he can booby trap the place as much as he wants. He has time to prepare. He, is ex- he knows exactly who we are. He knows exactly what to be looking for. It's stupid. It's preternaturally dumb to walk into that situation. <laughs> we're not doing that. Look, we have two options to catch this guy. We, have to, we can find him, or we can wait for him to... Sp- fuck with us when we're on the road which is an option I'd rather not take because number one we don't know if he's going to follow us because that would be pretty stupid on his part to follow a group of five I I mean it's just silly right he would be rather weak if we caught him on the road he would be weakened exactly so I don't think he would do that but the problem is if he's here and I'm looking around not saying this look he can't be here when we come back right because that could be a problem he's not in the room no, 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 I know, I'm just saying, we have business here, he can't be here when we come back, he can't interfere with things that we have to do here in he at least four weeks' time. all sorts of things up. Exactly. If we so give him a month if to If we plan. want to, yes, but if, then we have to find him. The tiefling and the goliath need to know that. They must understand that, right? I don't know. If he has a month to plan, the things that he could fuck up. Well, Erland, if you're going to explain it to them... And that's one thing. I've tried. How much more do I need to explain to them? I... Other than that this person could fuck up all of our plans, not just mine. Look, I agree. I think you're right. I think they'll see reason, at least Orba will. I have no idea about Craven, because he's been impossible to predict. Where's the tiefling? Is she still upstairs? I assume so. Do you want to go chat to her? Why? To try and convince them that something needs to be done this night. Okay, but chatting with you now, just letting you know, whatever they say, I will help you deal with this, I right? I appreciate that. But you have to let me help you, and you have to let me in, because there are ways that we could fuck this up worse. You understand that, right, Erland? Yes, it could get I worse. will meet him at the Upa Ale House if he deigns to show his face. I mean, right, I'll, I'll, I will be there as well. I think perhaps if that's happening, we should let Satyria know. <laughs> I mean, is that a good idea? Because what if we have Last... to, we're going to have to kill the guy, and then yes, do we need to let her know that, we're... hey, so, Satyria, do you mind I'm if we commit gonna, a murder in your gonna, establishment? I'm obviously not going to say that. I mean, that's last definitely time, not what you should say. Last time, we tried to do something behind her back. She almost blew our cover. The right. Goliath was oh, okay. almost arrested. Erland, fine. What do you want to tell her, though? I mean, seriously, do you want to say this that guy... That he's dangerous. Uh, but, but what evidence do you got of that? He tried to kill me. And I would have physical evidence if the Goliath hadn't ripped up the note. The thought had occurred, I know. I can bear witness to that. I saw that note. Sure. I read it. It said, fuck you, Erland, and he wanted to kill you. But he wasn't sure if it was worth it. It said, fuck you, Erland? Oh, you didn't... Yes, it said in... It... Well, this is going to make me feel really right dumb now, but it was, <laughs> it was, it was one of those, what's it called? It's, um, uh, you know, when the letters do something. It's, what's it called? It's like a puzzle. It was a pu- it was the, you, the, all the letters, 
on the, you know what I'm talking about, on the first line. I'm going to let you flounder. <laughs> Roll. <Better> rip. <laughs> like the, the they are watching. Exactly like oh that. Yes, it was exactly like that. It was, yeah, but in a It said, line, fuck you early. It early. said, fuck you. And you noticed you, this. Not, obviously, after the fact, I noticed it. I didn't notice it when I picked I'm going up, to If I'd noticed it. it when I picked up the note. Very good. I'm going to go speak with I, the tea. Can I get the nail, please? I'm going to go speak with the Great, tea. Great, I'm going to drink. Everyone's going to stand And up. I'm going to kind of flag, flag down. Flag in, grabs the, I mean, you, get, you have the usual options, the, the all hands ale, the on deck mead, and the raven's feather stout. I will take the raven's feather. One raven's feather. Six Cheers, Thank you. You head back upstairs, open the door to the room that you've rented, and find nobody inside. Shit. Shit. Close the door. <laughs> head back downstairs. <laughs> They're not up there. Where did they go? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh! They went to um, the spell place. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Mr. Franco. Oh, shit. They needed to do the exchange. Or I don't know where that is. I can ask someone on the way. Um, I'm going to go to Franco's then, and then I'm going to head directly to the Hang on, should we, should we be splitting up? Want should I just come with you? Yes, finish that and come with. Well, I'm going to kind of sit there and like chug the ale. Knock it, it back. A couple impressed faces around you. Sephira never Sephira. gets to just <laughs> drink her ale. She's tried I to enjoy an ale. <laughs> Rick slides it across. Nice little foam oh. head right across the bar, just as Erlen says we got to go. <laughs> Quickly down the air. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, Excuse me. <clears throat> and you guys head out the, the way, door yeah. of all hands on deck. I don't know where Franco's is. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Mm, it's a secret. Setting out each item on the table in front of you, you see a softer side of Palomar come out. The focused delicacy with which he handles each piece as if it was a, a newborn chick that's just hatched from an egg. And like the room around you, each one is in pristine condition, free of blemishes, tears, or nicks, despite likely being restored rather than newly created. Hmm. <laughs> the trinkets and apparel are varied in their capabilities, and Palomar takes a moment to briefly describe each one to you. A pair of slippers that invigorates the muscles in your legs a sash with a crackling energy that discharges at attacking foes, an ornate mace that channels and recovers magical energy, a shimmering cloak that distracts the eye, Ooh. gloves <laughs> that heighten your reflexes when surrounded, and a pair of bracelets that link the minds and bodies of those wearing them so that they can protect each other. After offering these explanations, Palomar folds his arms and he raises his chin Almost like he's waiting for you to sort of prove you have something worthy of an exchange for him. I had one other item I was willing to offer, but somebody came and snatched it up earlier today, so this is what I got. Any questions? Just earlier today? Yeah, that's right. What was it? It's not your business. Well, we might be interested in trading with them as well. Well, they've got it. I don't know where they are. Who was it? I can't just go around giving away my customers' information. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought it could be like an associate of ours, like a friend, and we could just talk to them. Well, it's not. How do you and know? you can't. How do you know? Because I know who it is, and I know who you are, and you're not from here. And he is. Okay, sorry. Let's so get back to the items, shall we? Okay. So, would you prefer... It wasn't... Something that could create a light show in the sky, was it? No. Have you seen something that does that? I've heard of it. What is it? Wand of pyrotechnics, I think is what you're saying, yeah? Mm. Whoa. But That's I don't have one. They're expensive. Do they have like one use or can they recharge? Yeah, usually limited, yeah. And then you have to repair it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, how, how, how should we go about this? Do we show you items and we decide what are fair trades? Do I say what I, what I am interested in? You tell me what you're interested in, show me what you have, and I decide whether it's a fair trade or not. Got it. Graven, is there anything that you need? No, nothing that I'm willing to part with this for, and I'll kind of gesture to my... 
Well, she, she, he kind of, yeah. you can see him kind of. It's cool, isn't it? I've seen better. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, if I may speak first. Yes. The sash is quite lovely. Um, I would be willing to trade it for, and Orba's gonna go into her bag, and she's gonna pull out the Shalala cuffs. Okay. Um, there's two of them, right? Uh, no, yeah, I think there's one for each. So she'll, like, yeah. one at a time, just gently... May I? Of course. And they're a little beat up. <laughs> well, they were in the hands of some fays when we found them, so probably experienced there. I've been quite careful with them. I bet I could restore these pretty well, but the sash is one of my more valuable items. <laughs> maybe something else for the cuffs. Or maybe you have something else for the sash. If I were interested in a second item, could I also offer you a second item and maybe call it even? If the second item is of value? Depends what the second item is, yeah. I'm just gonna, like, a little sadly, reach into her bag, and she's gonna take out her mask. And as you sort of take it up, he leans forward, and that... Just quiet tendrils of whispers that echo out in this quiet room a little bit. What gonna... have you got there? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I was gonna tilt it just slightly away from him, nothing too drastic. Come on, then. Let's have a look. <laughs> Give it a little stroke and hand it over. It takes it very carefully handling it. And he turns it kind of over in his hands a little bit, and he just holds it closer to his face, and Palomar has kind of a, a very long, thin face. His whole frame is sort of elongated, very kind of uh, sort of lean body, sort of a long face with a pointed chin. And as, as he sort of holds it closer to his face, you see the mask start to stretch ever so slightly wow. away from the shape of your face so it almost like can sense another oh, face in its presence and starts to mold itself to the presence of another creature yeah it's all right mm. you see its value so what and this for uh, the sash you want <clears throat> no, two items. You can keep the Shalala cuffs as well. Make a persuasion check. Oh my god. Oh, oh man, which god. die do I use for this, baby? <laughs> Just regular old die. It's fine. <laughs> Just to clarify, you're saying I, what you were. Two items for two items. Two, two items for two, two items. Yeah. But you haven't, but you said haven't told him about the second one. Correct. Okay. Sure. Come on. Oh, natural 19. <gasps> what was it? Persuasion? Mm -hmm. uh, 21. <gasps> What's the other one you want? The mitts. Done. Ooh. And one other. No. <laughs> that mask is from a place you couldn't even imagine. Let me see the atoms. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how dope the mitts are. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Fine. A third item. Not the slippers. Too valuable. Can't do three for two. Graven. It would be nice. You want it? Restored that one good, the mace. It looks quite sturdy, yes. Great things with that. Okay. Um, deal. All right. He gets up. He goes to like a little drawer off to the side, opens it up, and he takes out almost like little, like 
boxes with a sliding top that kind of slide open that are of different sizes. And he brings a couple of them over. I have boxes for the items if you like. Keeps them safe. Yeah, please. Takes the mitts. Do you have bows? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not a gift shop. Got it. Sorry. I thought I'm, I may as well ask. Okay. And, um. Opens another one. Folds the sash gently, and as he places it in, there's a little t- discharge of electrical energy. That is for you, I hope. Yeah. Good. Yeah. The uh, mace I don't have a big enough box for. It's all right. I'll uh, suppose I'll walk out with it. <laughs> be careful with that. I will be. I'm always careful. Yes, I, I, I should warn you. I suppose um, it is cursed. It's a cursed item. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, items that whisper in your ear when you hold them up to your face. They're usually cursed. <laughs> a little rule of thumb for me. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if you could also hear them, because I hear them, so I, I... Okay. I'll be real careful. Mm. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, um, I did have a couple questions. So, we have a, a sending stone, but it's not charged. And I'm told that you are quite good with sending stones. Told by who? Um... Uh, the people at the Broken Crown. I doubt it, but what do you need? I would like to know how to charge one. I can't teach you that. Why not? I'll rephrase. I won't teach you that. <laughs> what about for It's the... a specialized skill. There's not a lot of people that can do it, and I would like to maintain that distinguished prestige. What if we make a bargain that I promise never to charge anybody else's stones in the territory of Navigapora? No. Do you want to charge my sending stone for a fee then? Fine. <laughs> How much? Let's call it 30. Gold. Oh no. Yeah. 20. We're, we're talking magic items, I don't talk in silver. 20. Make a persuasion check. Oh my god. 20 gold, dude! It's a sending stone. It's a fucking day! Persuasion? Yeah, a reminder that it, it only lasts yeah, it for 24 hours. Yeah, it lasts 24 hours, hours bitch! Dirty 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for 20. Okay, other deal. I have this urn, and she's gonna take out the urn. Yeah, I know of urns of this kind. I actually have a similar one myself. It picks me up in the morning if I go through a stretch where I can't sleep for a while. Oh my gosh. Which happens to me sometimes. Oh, interesting. Well, it is quite low on components. Mm -hmm. um, so what if I give you the cuffs that we initially looked at? Oh, wait, no, I already kind of gave you those, didn't I? Right now, we have yeah. made a three for two swamp. Right. Any transactions beyond that are separate. Shit. Do you like crystals? What kind of crystals? Ooh. She'll take out the three green crystals. Not magical, just... Just crystals. <laughs> They're nice, but no. How much do you have components for this vase? I do. How much? I usually charge 30 per charge for something like that. How many charges does it need? Two. Okay. What if we just did that and not the stone? I feel like the stone could be useful for whatever may be in store for us today. Just a second ago, you didn't want to do the stone. Well, this is very expensive. <laughs> It's gonna be 40 gold then between the two. I know. Well, we are gonna be making some tomorrow morning. I'll do 20. If you can do 20. One, one charge and, and one sending stone? No, what no. Do you mean? It's 20 each. 30 gold per charge of this urn. Oh, I didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> and you, then, then you negotiated 20 minimum. for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, 30 gold for one charge of the vase. I can do that. If you leave it, you can come back tomorrow early in the morning. I'll make sure to get the components. Okay, done. So 25 gold each to do the stone. Are you getting charge. the stone? No, a, sing no uh, a single of the vase, nothing else. That's what I said. You just said you wanted to do the stone. <laughs> no stone, just vase. One vase. I got places to be I'm here. I'm sorry, tonight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. 
One stone. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he looks at you guys, get the fuck out. <laughs> leave. Get out. Okay, so 30, it's 30. 30 for the fix. 15 each. Yes. Do you want an abacus? No, yeah, I'm do you fine. need a Calga? Um, okay, great. So I give him the gold, okay. and I'll, I'll, I guess I leave the vase. You leave the urn, yep. yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I took 15 off you. Only took 15. Yes, I took okay, 15. Okay, okay. Here. You have the urn thing, don't you? Yeah, you want. Oh, you literally I want mean, to. I mean, you don't have it in your possession. I was like, eh. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Take it. Okay. I'll that... Swing by my incense guy at first light. <laughs> He's got of guy. course he does. This guy's a guy for everything. <laughs> oh. okay. I want to meet all this guy's guys. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> pleasure doing business with you, I suppose. Yeah. I don't normally make exceptions for outsiders, but your friend's given me a couple of favors, so we're even now. Well, remember us, because we're going to be back, and I bet that we're going to find a lot of other cool stuff. Well, come with favors, then. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> Farewell. Good night. Bye. Take Bye. care of my mask. I will. And you believe him when he says that. He's, yeah. He handles it very carefully as he's, you know, finds his spot for it among his trinkets. He puts those things, he has that, again, sort of two-handled, almost dinner tray, and the, the items that you didn't select, he kind of is carefully putting back on the tray along with the mask and the cuffs that you've handed. I know that that's been with you for a while, but I think the sash will be more useful to you in the future. Yeah, the sash is pretty. There's no drawback, it's not cursed. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All benefit. That's true. Okay, yeah. yeah. At least I don't think it is. Yeah. No, I don't think. Okay. If it does, I would, she I would holds also it up to like her to ear. remind, as the, the rules of cursed items, yeah. you are still cursed. Yeah. Even though you've sold the item. Yeah, you need to find someone to remove the curse. They don't need to have the item. Even when you unattune? You're still cursed? Yeah. yeah, cursed items, the curse doesn't remove when you're unattuned to. I would know that too, right? Yes, you would. Okay. Um, you, they, you don't have to present the item. Someone can clear you of a curse even yeah. without presenting the item. But you are still cursed by that. Uh, yeah. The cursed aspect is just vulnerable to psychic, right? Yes, yeah. vulnerable to psychic damage. Perhaps before we leave the city, after we go to Holodisophio Hol tomorrow, yeah. Donovan could remove the curse from you. Yeah. Do we know? Maybe Celis could. Are we Are we sure we're going to see him? I hope so. He's a Nuba, you think? I don't know. I would imagine somebody's just kind of following me right now, and yeah. whenever he has an, an, an available moment, they're <laughs> going to fetch me. All right. Swing it. Oh, you're right. Give it a swing. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the sort of end of the mace is that sort of carved figurehead. Of, awesome. You're not sure who it's of. It's yeah. you know, it's someone's face, but it, as you sort of swing it through the air, it has a nice sort of aerodynamic quality to you it. You see some guy on the road like, hey, oh, what's <laughs> with me? It's got a nice weight to it, I think. I'm glad you're pleased. Yes. Good. Give me uh, a investigation with advantage. Ugh. Gotta assume. How long does it take? Short rest. Seventeen. Seventeen. Great. So as they were sort of browsing the wares at Palomar's place, you asked around a little bit so around the deck. You could tell that some people, because they didn't <laughs> recognize you, were a little reluctant to sort of give away the address. But Palomar, being a man who's known to conduct business, that didn't seem overly suspicious. You're able to find someone who is able to direct you to Palomar Franco's uh, house. Can you unlock the waypoint on my map? <laughs> I can unlock the waypoint. <laughs> uh, bring up the map. And Palomar's place Ease. Make sure I get the right one. Yeah, I didn't write that one down. It is. Oh, it's upside down. This is really gonna test me. It's this one here, I believe. That one in the, the middle. The small one. Yep, the small one in the middle of those uh, buildings there. I wish we had figured more. Can you shut up? <laughs> Accusatory. I just thought it was near the ports. So as Graven and Orba are just sort of coming through the streets of Fangle, you get into that sort of alleyway there down that row of houses that all look very similar, kind of all constructed around the same time, and you see Graven and Orba in the distance. Graven is actually mid kind of, not flourishing, but just mm. testing out sort of the, the weight of a weapon in his hand. That hands him. Well, shit, he found a new mace. Why, uh, well, 
Why is that well shit? Do you think well, I, that was, use it here? You no, in the head. Potentially, that was more of a well shit out of surprise than <laughs> right. disdain. Well, he'd better not use it to hit you in the face. Right. You know, sort of... Oh. Ah. Hi. Hi. I thought we were meeting on the co- on Naupa. Your um, mate has it, a face. Is it... Mm. <laughs> is I, it better than the other one? It looks, you know, it looks like a face. Once I attune to it, it very much could be, yes. Is it relatively private here? Yeah, I mean, you're you're near people's private homes. You can look around you and there's light coming out of residences. You can see people inside having an evening meal. It's a little past, just past the dinner hour usually. And you can see people with their kids or, or relaxing, playing item, uh, instruments idly, but there aren't a lot of people in the street here. Where are you heading to now? Naupa, like we said. All right. right. Um, so aren't you? Yes. Yeah, we were. We wanted to intercept you first because I think I've solved the riddle. I don't think we should go. I don't either. Uh, we both don't think we should go. So where were you going okay. with that, incidentally? Look, tiefling. This makes sense so far. Here's the thing. I worry if we leave this town without dealing with this problem before we leave, that when we return in a month, he will have had a month to prepare and could certainly fuck things up for us while we're gone. He's going to recognize us as soon as we come back into town. Okay. And he'll be here because he could he's a even, local. If, if he has any... Friends. Hint about what we're going to be doing when we return. Which he sure. might. Uh, we can assume that he might. And even if he doesn't, he'll see us when we come he back. He could ask town. around. He seems well connected. And we can't be that okay. well disguised when we come back. I agree with all of these things. The point is, if we wait for him to potentially follow us, I'm going to check around a little bit here. Yeah. Make a perception check. It's dark and a lot of alleys. You can't check everything. Nine. But as far as you can tell, there are very few people out on the street. And okay. a couple of people you do see are, they're like coming in and out of their homes. So you don't see anything. If we wait for him to follow us, there's a chance he doesn't follow us, and there's a chance he has a month to prepare something. Okay. This affects all of us now. I agree. Look, it puts all of us in danger, and... <sighs> so what's the plan? We are now talking about the man who cackled with laughter as he passed us in the woods. Yes. Yes. Look, the problem is, I don't think it would be very likely or very smart that he's going to follow us out of town. Because he would know, probably, if he's anything other than a complete idiot, that trying to get two people when you're out on your... I mean, to trying to attack four people when you're out on your own... Sure. ...is going to be a nightmare for him. So what? we would have to either, A, bank on him coming and following us let's, out of the city... ...or, B, deal with him talk. when we're here. Okay. What is your suggestion? Yeah. What is the plan? Well, we either have to find him or he has to come to us. There's really no option. Two, that is two, in the situation two options. Yeah. The first option is we go to Sansa Doddles right now. What? Who is that? Oh. Once was here and now is gone. No, we're not doing Avoid that. Avoid I said no. I thought we already agreed at the beginning of this conversation we're not going on option. his terms. What? That's not an option. It's Doddle. It's not an option. That's so it doesn't stupid. matter where it was. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Option two. Yeah. It turns out that Villapont Wiley, Willoughby, forgive me, is available for work and is able to pass a message along to him. Okay. So we asked him to get a message to Shakar. Did you tell him why you wanted to get a message to him? Yes, I was extremely clear. I was abundantly clear. I told him that he had challenged Erlen to a duel and then gotten us into a situation where we nearly got killed. I told him... That is what this is about? What? A duel? Well, no, obviously it's not about that now. It's about the fact that he fucked up everything with Marvin. But this yes. whole thing started with him trying to start a fight with Erlen and then Erlen not wanting to fight with him. Because we all had better things to do than fight some silly man. So, is this dude crazy? Potentially. Yes, and obviously. Evidently. He's oh. absolutely crazy. Okay, also, just really quickly while you're formulating plans, I, so Palomar Franco also said that somebody came by and took a magic item today. Almost that certainly, Shakar. They said he, so I would imagine. Almost certainly, Shakar. But he, we, he used a wand of pyrotechnics, which is very expensive, and it does have limited uses. This is just information that is good I to mean, know to, 
to know how prepared this man is and how of means he is. Well, yeah, he's he clearly afford... wealthy. He has friends in the area. Exactly. This is not a guy that we wanted to fuck with. Right, but I'm just saying also that could have been him buying some other mystery item. We no, it almost certainly it was. was. So yeah. just be prepared. You are so sure that he wants you dead more than anything. Well, we had a note that said he wants me dead and wants to maim me that I would have loved to use for evidence. You mean the note that was a total bamboozle? Well, yes. Everything that we found of his has been a lie. But then he did, in fact, actually try to put us in danger by alerting uh, uh, these 12 men who were armed to our presence. What's option two? two? He is going to meet, he is potentially going to meet me at at the the Uber Uber Ale House this evening. If he listens to Villapont, if Willoughby. he listens to Villapont, which of course Willoughby. is a possibility that might it's not It's a public come to location, pass. so he can't try and kill me on the spot. There. Do you think? Is there a way? And to, vice versa. Do you think there's a way? When you spoke to this guy, why did he want a duel? I'm. He's jealous he's of another the f- monk, right? Didn't he? Was it the? He's jealous of the fact contest. that Sandero wanted to train me and not him. Oh. Schoolyard squabbles. What is going but this on? Is, this is helpful information, Please, though. That's not really this on is, him. This could be helpful. Thank you. It's not. It's not his fault that some crazy motherfucker approached him in a bar and then later turned out to be much more insane than we'd ever possibly predicted. How is that his fault? If we're going to play the blame game, don't point your finger there. That's not fair, and you know it. I Every one of us. I has haven't said a word. It. it was your face, Graven. Everybody, enough. Stop this putting words in my mouth. Graven. Thank you. Everybody needs to stop right now. Every single one of us. Tell the Goliath to stop attacking me. Hang on. No, don't start now after she told you to stop. Hang on. No. Look. We have Check, to now pick. The volume's getting a little louder. Checking around. Yeah, we're making a fucking scene. You don't see. We we have to pick one of these options, right? Because this is a problem ultimately that we have to deal with, and we have to agree, otherwise we're going to get fucked again. What yeah? I was trying to start saying is that is very useful information. That is a weakness. Do you not see that? Yes, I tried to exploit it already. Well, that's In why what I. Way? I tried. When he initially wanted to meet with me, when he asked a second time, I initially tried to meet with him and say, yes, go train with Sandero. And what what happened? He hired some uh, peasants to pour hot wax or oil on me. Oh, yeah, no. So what I'm thinking is that this man clearly has some kind of a chip on his shoulder. And well, yeah, if that's, he's, if that's he's why an, I asked Villapont to tell him to come to do the duel. I figured right, that might be a way I'm to appeal to his ego. Is, you publicly try to challenge or humiliate this guy? I didn't guy? say it no. loudly. I said it to his face. No. He's saying it, saying, she's saying oh, if you, if you I were, should. I see, I see, I see. If you pronounce some kind of, you, if you walk in swinging, She's right, Erland. His ego is certainly I'll happily find larger him. than life. I don't even mean that. That's how you draw him out. If you attack the thing that he is sensitive about or has some strange pride So what do we do? We walk around this town saying, what, Shakar, what a fucking coward. What a spineless idiot, you know? Make a show. At the Upa Ale House, start, I don't know. Yeah, we can tell stories about how he's right. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. That's a brilliant idea, Wilbur. That's great. Change the game. I hate to admit it. No, she's a, why That's do you a good hate idea. to admit it? Why do you why do you have to say that? That's a great idea, Orba. Great job. That's this all you had to say. Has a limited window. Tonight. Yes. Yeah. Tonight, I mean, yes. How many times do I have to tell you I cannot we don't need engage your help. with anyone tonight? We don't, you need, don't need my help. No, we don't. This I, is one guy. I think if we keep it public, we can develop a plan around your circumstances, yes? Yes. I really don't see why not. This is not 12 people, Graven. I think we can be smart. He's skilled, but he is ultimately still a single And he'll be surrounded. Before we start this plan, we all need to get the fuck over what happened today. Because we failed as a team, and we are going to be successful as a team, there is no individual fault here. You understand. Then how about you tell your Goliath friend to stop swinging his fists and cracking his knuckles and use his words like a big boy? (laughs) 
Anything? I just can't help but seeing a child. Mad that he was pranked and taking it out on everyone else, becoming the bully for it. Oh, that's interesting, because I see a child too, Grave, and I'm looking right at him. How am I the one who is trying to take anything out on this Chicago? I tried to divert. I tried to... I left him because it was a schoolyard squabble, and I thought it not important, and I thought other things were more important. How many times have you gotten into arguments, have you gotten into fights, that have not turned into some sociopathic Look, Graven, I can remember a time us. when Wh Orba was on your back and you cast Hold Person and got us into a combat that nearly got her killed. You want to talk about that? Because I could talk about that now. I don't. What are you about. asking? No, we don't want to talk about it. Let's move on then. What are you asking of me right now? Use your words, not your fists. You're an adult. Grow up. Orba, give me a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> no. Perception 16. 16. <laughs> the sound of footsteps comes through the alley, kind of cutting through some of the words that echo out in this area of Fangle. And a couple times as the volume rises, nobody comes out to confront or anything, but a couple times you see just faces of people inside their homes, almost like opening up curtains just to look out and see what some of the commotion oh is. Oh my god. But the footsteps coming down the alley belong to someone else. You're greeted with maybe 100 feet away and closing in, and you can see them in sort of waves as they pass beyond each place and the light from the candlelight inside. So mm -hmm. they'll go dark to light each time as they're moving along the row of houses. A familiar but uh, sort of unsettling only in their sort of stillness. Shit. But the suspended stillness of these pale blue robed advocates. <laughs> mm. One of them walking quickly in your direction. The candlelight, once again, each time catching little flickering glimpses of that light blue that, that shines along their robes. And they accel accelerate quickly to walk up to you and gives a quick sort of look around. My Good evening. Good evening, uh, my companions. Hi. Problem? I come bearing a message and a parcel from the wizard Celis. I was given no further instruction. Okay. I am, however, aware that progress is being made on your submitted list. Good. Oh. Have a pleasant evening. Oh. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Can, can I have your name? Not now, but thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hands you a note. Yeah. And hands you a little parcel, and that's oh. what's inside the little parcel there. It's a, like a little uh, pouch there that uh, has something inside. Okay. You have eyes on us, on her, at all times, yes? Within the city limits, usually, yes. Well, evidently there's a tiefling monk who mm. wants nothing but to see all of us dead, so watch out for that, please. I'll describe Shakar for him. I cannot tell if you speak in jest. No, no, seriously, what does... I'm going to kind of describe again, Shakar, the, the, with the earring and the... Do you know this guy? I do, yes. Do you know who he is right now? No. Well, we believe him to be a threat to all of us, including Orba. Is this true? Potentially. It's hard to tell. We barely know the man. I know that Cliff does not wish to interfere in the squabbles of those that lie within his city. I mean, your journey is your own, however, Orba's safety is paramount. Look, we're just worried that this guy seems to have... I mean, he seems to be slightly fucked in the head, apparently. And if we come back here, which I'm sure we will, we don't want him to try to, I don't know, cause a scene and kill us. I, it would be... He wrote a note saying... If, if, you want, if, you want to, if you want to avoid city politics, then perhaps we would ask two things. One, that he does not... Let us know if he follows us out of the city limits when we leave to protect her. The advocates will not be following you out of the city limits. Yes, but if you see him come after us, you stay within the city limits, but if you see him leaving after us, please have someone let us know. All right. And secondly, if you can find out where he's sleeping tonight. And then you can stay out of it. 
We shall see. Thank you. Thank you. We wouldn't be asking if this wasn't serious. Hmm. Or, alternatively, if Cliff has any other contracts that he could assign this man to, something out of the city, something to Something keep out busy. of the continent, honestly. Oh, that's something a good idea as well. that he might feel honored by. And that's a brilliant idea. Robert. Pass this to the wayside. I'll look into it. Something that would keep him out of town for more I than understand. a month. No, more than a month. That's important. More than a month, it would have to be, for the contract. Setting terms now, are we? Well, I mean, if Setting we can. Okay. Sorry. I'll see what I can do. Of course. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Starts to turn. Fangle is a residential area. One of Navikapura's pride and joy. Mind your conduct. Starts to walk down. Mind your conduct. Fuck's sake. I wasn't saying that at a volume where you could hear me. <laughs> you, well, he had walked. Oh. No he certainly didn't acknowledge that he uh, heard you in that capacity. Can we proceed? Is that good news? I haven't had the chance to actually read it. Oh, do you right. want to continue to steed away or... while you read it, perhaps? Okay. Read it now. What if it's important? Head to the steed away. Oh, you guys aren't too far. What time is it at this point? Um, like 8.30. Oh my god. Oh, I missed my meeting with those guys. <laughs> Shucks. Maybe they'll come Oops. back. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Turn the wagon around. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> As you get closer, you're surprised that the steederway is still reasonably busy at this evening hour. The novelty apparently not wearing off, and despite its association with the Mull Affairs, a kind of sour association with the Mull Affairs, you do have to acknowledge how positive the first impressions are of its efficiency, smooth operation of the steederway. Standing by the door, as per usual, the steward and the security guard, one counting out coin while the other stops and starts the line as the steeders come rumbling through the tunnels down below. Oh, we're gonna have to pay. Oh, shit. We gotta go. You guys needed to tell someone oh, to bring your we, horses. They can stay the night, because we're coming back here tomorrow night, or tomorrow morning. Yeah, but then is there gonna be time to get them to the West Coast for now? I like say in the morning. Okay, okay, fine. Yep, yep, yep. We're doing yep. it later. Yep, yep. <laughs> We're doing it live. Oh my god. god. Depends I think we might say that you could run. I thought that was Orba. Back to the deck. Do, yeah. 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 Can we just literally run? I've, we don't. I've missed the joust already. It does not matter. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're, you take a quick detour. Yeah, the all hands it. on deck. Should've the stable. The stable boys and girls are are acquainted with this service. People okay. ask them to take horses to different townships. Damn it. Okay. It's two silver what? per horse. Kill the advocate. Per township. Two horses per. Two silver <gasps> per horse per township. Two so how many horses do you have here in, in Wampo? Not mine. We have three no, horses. Three. We have three. And it's three townships over. Great. Okay. Two times Let three me times do, three. Yeah, hold on. Two, two times horses. Two silver. Two silver. Poor buddy. Eating hat. Times three yeah. horses. Times three, times three, three townships. Yeah. So you said three, three, three. <laughs> oh, no. I said two times oh, three oh, times 27 <laughs> silver. 27 <laughs> silver. Two, two gold, seven silver. Okay. Great. You pay one of the kids. He's happy to do so. In fact, you sort of, you see him there bored in the stable, Aww. sort of watching over the horses, and he seems a little, you know, his interest is, is piqued a little bit by, by getting to take a ride sort of through <laughs> the night there. Um, did you pay all of it? Yes, I just paid all of it. Oh, okay. Thank so, you. you make your way back to the Steeder All right, yeah, Steeder. All right. Gotta get it. And after a long day of traveling on foot, the idea of sort of getting into the Steeder way and, and taking, letting the Steeders take you across the townships is, is sort of a nice relaxing thought, but you do see as you get closer, there's one small group near the entrance that at first you think they're in line, like they're waiting to get into the steeder way, but they seem to be letting others go ahead of them. A pack of maybe five men and women, they're dressed like in dock worker attire, like they came in off the docks. And if you had to guess, they look a little on edge, they kind of have a quiet intensity about them, kind of looking furtively, like they're maybe waiting for someone or something. So you just see like a little pack of people, nobody that you recognize, so none of the people that you recognize. Hmm. We so. recognize like their 
No, I guess no. We wouldn't recognize anything distinctive, distinctive about like their clothing that would tell us exactly sort of. If they had some kind of rank or something, yeah. not that you can tell. They okay. have pretty simple, basic Doc Workers attire. Okay. Of, I mean, when you walk through the tall ports, you saw tons of people dressed just, just dress like, like this. Yes. Okay. So you guys are sort of waiting in line here for a moment at the Steedaway, getting a little closer. Do we think there's a problem? What's the... I don't know. Perhaps. Do you think we've only used the Steedaway once or twice before? I suppose they're not holding up the line. Should we ask? You can. I'm gonna read my note. Get a little closer, and they're having quiet conversation, kind of huddled in a little ball. Give me perception checks, and might be able to pick up something that they're saying. Or was doing a perception check? Yeah, no, I I was asking. Nineteen. Eighteen. Hey, neutral one. Hey. Grave <laughs> hey, no, 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 you hear no, 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 nothing. No, no, no. You pick up a little, just slight snippets. They don't seem to be trying overly hard to not be heard. They don't seem to be saying anything of substance that they would worry that someone heard. But you just pick up little pieces that they kind of lean over to each other. And you hear a couple things. One is, we wait for Paloma. He's got all the shit we need anyway. It's a little phrase that you pick up. Another phrase that you pick up. Traitor as fuck should have left town cocky son of a bitch thought we wouldn't find out. So, little sort of pocket of people kind of chatting about something. So what was the first comment? He said, we wait for Palomar. He's got all the shit we need anyway, although Graven doesn't hear this. Yeah, yeah. And how close to them are we now? There's still probably eight people in line ahead of you, so 20 feet. We're going to kind of put a hand on, like, 15 feet, 15 feet. Graven and Erlen for a second, and um, do we think he could possibly be talking about the same cocky motherfucker that we're looking or no? I, I mean, assume the mullet is. I suppose. I was just hopeful. So, well, oh, I didn't um, hear the, anything. The, the dock workers <laughs> ahead said they're waiting for Paloma Franco's goods. Uh, and the cocky motherfucker, whatever, should have left town. I, Does that mean anything? No, I, I mean, I tried to ask Franco about why he wanted to meet us now instead of midnight, but he didn't say anything. He wouldn't say anything. Well, clearly That's, he's busy with something. If we were to speak up, they would be able to hear us, right? The, if you intentionally like, spoke Like, if we just spoke at, like, a normal speaking volume, they'd be able to hear us? Yeah. I mean, sure. Yes. Perhaps we try this. I'm going to sort of look at them and... <laughs> Shoddy mold affair work, if you ask me. Uh, <sighs> yeah, it's absolutely definitely. This is what happens when shoddy. you let the mold affairs handle something. Oh, for sure, yeah. Weak structures. Indeed. Shoddy craft. Are they looking as I'm seeing? You get no reaction at all from them, but some of the other people in line kind of, it's true, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a couple of that. And someone in behind sort of, well, I like the steed away. Like, it's, it's, it's convenient. I'm talking about the structural integrity of the it, thing. It, it's it not going to last very long now, is it? Well, you get Again, you get some kind of mixed reception from the line, but the the group reacts does not react at all to the mention of the Mollifers. I'm going to kind of tap. I don't, I, I don't think that's doing anything. They're, they're not, they don't seem to care. Actually, their lack of response is kind of odd, don't you think? They seem like they're concentrating on their own conversation, right? Right, well, why wouldn't you want to openly talk about, you know, not liking the Moll Affairs, if that's, in fact, what they were talking about? Because they're planning something to... Suspicious, perhaps? I don't know. In fact, a, actually, it was worth a shot, do yeah. something to the Steed Away. There are people who want to take this thing down, right? We're quite busy. We can't involve ourselves the spiders in city are okay. politics. No, I'm not saying we should. I'm just worried Wait. for the spiders. What? The no, oh, the, someone's planning something. To the steeder way? Potentially. Uh, potentially. It's hard to say. Oh, the no- you guys seems get like to the front of the line, basically. You, you can like step up to the front of the line. I mean, it is going to be a bummer um, if four, we... four of us? Yes. I recognize you, I believe. Yes. yes. I believe um, we have one. Yeah, free... so do I. Shut up. Uh, I believe we have one free trip left. Excuse me, sir. Um, I don't like him. He's been quite rude to me in the past. Sorry, he's quite rude too. Um, I'm gonna kind of push him aside a little bit. I'm happy to pay as well. Um, if if we don't have any free trips left, I've got um, money. I believe there's one free ride left. Oh, okay, right. Um, did I, I suppose apply that to her and then three more to Naupa? To Naupa, that yep. would be three gold per township, so okay. nine gold each. Okay, right. I got it. You've got all of it. Yes, I do. It's fine. All right. The security of the Steedaway is essential to the operation. Okay. Well, is that relevant to us somehow? 
I think he's looking for an apology. Oh. I'm sorry. I'll look at the guy. The, the, the... Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. I'm so sorry. Dirty 20. Thank you. Go on in. Emotions inside. Thanks, have a nice night. Have a wonderful night. You guys start to descend the stairs. That idiot has gotten I, in the way oh, of please, so- Please, come on. Can't, come yeah. on. Can't, I, uh, the staircase is like 15 steps, so you've you got like an, two seconds right What do you need? Do you need an ale, a massage, <laughs> a deep breath, some meditation that you do? What's those breathing exercises? <laughs> this thing that you do, do that, whatever you need. Come on, bud. No, absolutely not. Not worth it. Or get down to the bottom. Right. Get, get down to the bottom. Fucking, so, fucking for four people, it, it is, it's only two people per steeper, so mm-hmm. you, they divide you up. You guys get... Oh, I can actually roll for a <laughs> Oh! You guys get handlers. <gasps> oh. oh, you're going to be disappointed. No. Uh, handler Faust and Handler Rumhilt, who you have had before, oh. but not uh, not Handler Verge. Handler so Verge. So, you guys are loaded up. Into, you guys don't <laughs> have any favorite. additional belongings beyond your just your, no, your just backpack. backpack right now. So he, they they yeah. strap you guys into the steederway, quickly moving along the tunnels, and a brisk thirty minutes later, find yourself wild on the other coast once again, <laughs> marveling at the time saved here. You arrive, so you're arriving in here at about nine o'clock, getting back into Naupa. You come, you up, emerge up out of the steederway, which um, is again on that sort of uh, eastern part of Naupa kind of uh, near where that bridge is in the, in the neighborhood of, of Dienst, near the Upe Hale House as well, a little further north. So you guys come up out of the Steederway. It's beautiful at this time of night. It's sort of candlelight around the Steederway, some of the lanterns hanging. You see that big uh, stone spider statue that's here in Upe that you get a good look at. It has lighting behind it, so it kind of illuminates the spider from behind, and you can, it casts a long shadow on the cool. ground, sort of with its eight legs, the arachnid form. Who's been to battle ready before? Uh, is that the um? That's Saren Darrow's place. Oh, I oh, have. Yes. Where I I need to know where it is. Oh, no, I'll uh, just, I'll just yeah. Him. All right. Going now. It should be. I be, I would imagine. Oh the joust right, because the joust now, I forgot. Yes. Do you want to come with me? Um, unless you need to. Do you need to plan? Do we need to like? Well, plan I some do stuff? think that we should have a plan before we do this. But, um, are you alright going alone? Is that okay? I mean, are you okay to go alone? I don't know. I suppose. I just, I, I just, here's what I want to avoid, right? I, I want to know that we're all on the same page. If he, just, just, we have to come up with if-then scenarios, right? I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Well. If anybody gives you trouble, him with that new thing. <sighs> or don't, because they did just tell us to, what was it? Um, watch leaving. your conduct we or something? In... I was making a joke, okay. my goodness. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't tell, actually. I don't know, it can be hard to read tone. Trying to lighten the mood is all. Right, okay, well, uh, get I'll your see you stuff. I'll see with the and, Yeah, is that the plan? We're going Tell right there? Everyone else is headed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes open, all of you. Yep, you too. Party begins to move through the streets. It's a short hop, skip, and a jump over to the Upe Ale House, so we'll go there first. And after leaving the Steederway, just a few blocks to the northwest, gets you there in a timely manner. Well-lit courtyard, a very sort of always identifiable little beacon from afar. No longer the kind of unique spectacle that it was during the Burmese Yord concert with its additional banners and lanterns and things, but still has a pleasant appearance here in the nighttime. As always, there's a very decent crowd, but as the day has gone on, and, and you've sort of felt this, especially as you got out of the more crowded area of Fangle, the wind has picked up a little bit. It's kind of whipping through the streets, so in this open area of the courtyard, it almost like catches it, it swirls mm-hmm. around. <laughs> You can see the wind kind of whipping through, and the people there enjoying a drink. You can see them kind of pulling their coats closed. (laughs) 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 Just getting nice and cozy with a warm warm ale in their belly as they they enjoy the cold, crisp evening air. A lot of people are up on that second balcony that you you stood up on during the concert because it's, you know, partially enclosed. So that place up there is packed up on the second floor. Satiri is at the bar, and she's pouring drinks, and in between pouring drinks, you see her repeatedly return to a small group at one end of the table, and she looks like she goes over and kind of rolls some dice, 
and then you see kind of a reaction from the crowd, and then she'll go back to pouring drinks. So between drinks, she's engaging in a little bit of gambling, just passing the time with a few of the local regulars. You don't see any signs of the Latrine Elves from earlier. Not sure what that might indicate necessarily, positively or negatively, for the negotiations taking place that you know of, but you don't see them here present at the Ubeilas at this time. So, you guys head into the courtyard. Before we enter, should we let Satyria know that something's going on? Oh, okay. I was saying this to Safira. Last time we tried to do something quietly, Graven almost got himself arrested. Right. To be fair, he had no idea that... No, I guess he had some idea. Yeah, this I was going to we say, we, we knew, the, didn't we? This was, the, oh, this was the note thing. When we yeah. were following, yes. Because right. Satyria was didn't also... didn't work out well. Satyria was trying, during the concert. Sure, yeah. Satyria was wondering what the hell was going on, which okay. is fair. Uh, yes, I would say so. So, but, And you think if you give her the heads up, she'll be like, yeah, sure, no problem. I'm well, not going to, we're not, very quietly, we're not doing anything here. I mean, it okay. wouldn't be safe for us. Then why, what are we telling her exactly then? Just several things. Okay. Does she know where he is? I suppose it's a question. Uh-huh. More than... Um, and... Just that he's dangerous. Did that advocate's response surprise you at all? He seemed very surprised that Shakar would be any real danger to us. Is that... I think he's I more... I don't think that was actually the wisest thing to bring up, if, if I may speak. Plainly? Oh. Uh, well, Honestly? Well, Why? Because... The Goliath brought it up. I, I agree, and then we continued talking about it. Well, but once it had well, been once it had up. been brought up I, by Graven. I, I am not blaming anybody. I right, but if there was someone to blame, Sophia. it would be Graven. I am I'm just, just saying your soft spot is rather, you know... Fuck visible. you, Safira! Oh, My right, so I get a fuck spot? you, but he doesn't get a fuck you. He hit him! The crowd he... turning their heads now at this oh, point. Oh, right. Of volume Just a disagreement amongst friends. An ale, perhaps. An ale. I'll always take an ale if you're buying. I'm fine, thank you. And I go up to the bar. Mm-hmm. Head up to the bar. Satyria kind of sees you coming. She sort of gives you a smile as you're headed up. Hello. Hi. Um... I should warn you oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. that We're if you're going here. to order an ale, it might be served freakishly warm because <laughs> no one has a hotter hand than me right <laughs> now. I have been shutting the box on these fools all night long. Oh, my God. What oh, game? No. Shut the box. It's the popular yes, one around yes, here. Yes, we played. Oh, yes, God. we played. Um, congratulations, then. <laughs> Um, a productive day, I hope. Round on you, perhaps, then? <laughs> nice try. Worth a shot. Uh, two ales, please. Sure. Uh, yeah. Cheapest you've got. Uh, four copper per... <laughs> That's yeah, not a touchscreen anymore. <laughs> 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 if you try hard enough. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> I wish we could have gotten that on camera. Erlen takes his coin purse, and he's like, sure, I'll buy it. He dumps out the whole thing, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, friends, I have four copper left. Oh, <laughs> Three baby. copper. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels oh, good. yeah. Feels, Feels good. good. A productive day for you as well? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. This town... This town. <laughs> <laughs> I like this town. I like this town, too. I do. I really do. I just find myself constantly embroiled in politics that I frankly don't give a shit about. <laughs> You want to know a secret? Yes. Mm. It's not the town. <laughs> Thank you, Sateria. <laughs> Grab two ales. <laughs> and go back over. Have they found a seat, or are they still standing where, where they're at? Oh, I don't know. I think I, they, I think I was just still awkwardly standing there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you guys, are like, you guys are like, like in the court, like just outside the bar area in the courtyard. Yeah. There's plenty of chairs in this area. Sort of sit down. Kind of quietly, Torba, to should we... Look, I know you're mad at me, but should we sit down? You can be mad at me whilst we sit down. Okay. Okay. Can I get the beer? Cheers, thanks. Listen, you two, and I can't believe I'm the one saying this, but let's try and keep our ire to a more comfortable volume, shall we? Yes, absolutely. I'm I'm happy to keep my ire. I'm not the person who should stop looking at me like that. She deserves to look at you like that. You're being quite annoying, mate. Gotta say. 
I'm saying it quietly. If we're so going it doesn't to go do to... what we need to do here, we can't be making a scene. Erland, how about how about we how about we all how about I'm gonna take the ale out of her hand. Out of her she ankle. I didn't get one. The only box. Oh, I, oh yep. I thought you got one for nope. her. I thought you Silver is a bird. Mm -hmm. Drink your ale. How many ales can I drink again? You can have like two. It's something like two. Yeah, it's, it's three plus your constitution modifier. Yeah, you two can beers, have yeah, There you go. There you go. You can and have that's, yeah, And then you start making yes, You can have this. Yeah, 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 Alan's gonna yeah, sort of. You can comfortably. Slowly start sipping an ale. Great. Give me perception checks as you guys are hanging out here in everybody else as well. Nine. Twelve. Oh, ho, 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 19. 19. There's a couple oh. people that you see in and around the alehouse that you've seen around here before, sort of regular either patrons or just people that are, you know, usual citizens of Nuupa kind of making their way around. One person that Safira spots, and immediately you see her kind of go into sort of <laughs> <laughs> an I don't inward want shrug, to is Barney Morgan, no, no, no. who Ooh. has not clocked your presence at all, but he's sitting and having a drink with a couple friends of his, a man who is sort of looking for you to. Uh, Give his name to the broken crown. Oh so he God. is here, present at the Uva Ale House. I mean, I kind of turn around a little bit. It's not important. It really isn't important. But I, that guy, um, he thinks that I was going to give his name when uh, for that contract where they wanted me, and I had to. He, he, yeah, uh, please don't notice him or anything. If he speaks to you, just lie to him. Well, how how would I? What do you I mean? I gave him your name. Yeah, but I obviously didn't. He well, would he wouldn't know. know that. Yeah, Honestly, I think, he might have known. I think we have some bigger problems than just some mere social awkwardness right now. All right. If well, you have yes, but to I was say, trying to lighten the mood. Shall we before we actually have to start doing anything? Was that a genuine invitation? That's or? a genuine invitation. Have at it. I am tired of members of my team saying that I am. Yes. I choose to exercise forgiveness and empathy with every member of my team. It is not naivete. It is not being soft. It is what I need in order to ensure that this party stays together. Does have, that make sense? Have you spoken to the Goliath about his conduct at all? I have tried, as I have tried with you. And what did he say? You are both on opposite ends of a perspective. Did he tell so you he tried... Hold on. Did, you, did he tell you he tried to hit me? He did not. Did he mention that part? No, he didn't, Erland. I didn't think I would have to ask such a thing. Right. I didn't think I'd have to defend myself against one of my own. You're right, Tiefling. We've all annoyed each other. We've all made silly mistakes. But something I haven't done is attack one of my companions. Okay. We can add that to the laundry list, yeah. Of what? Of things he hasn't done? I was thinking that the laundry list would be the things he had done. Another thing that I am tired of is that when one person makes a mistake, then another chooses to list that person's failures as a way to justify making mistakes or a way to place blame. Look, it's... Not about listing people's failures, but we do have to be realistic about our weaknesses, Orba. And, um, and I we think have that them. Is one of them. I apologize. Look, for my it mistakes. might be, but we have to be realistic here. Have I not? If we're going to, oh, Erland, sometimes you do, and sometimes it's genuine, and sometimes you don't, and your tone is usually that of someone who does not want to apologize to anyone. So that's something that you could work on. No, am I right? I have said what I wanted to say. Hear it or not, how I react to Graven or speak to him, knowing this information, is frankly his and my business. And I would hope that you know me well enough. Look, it's a matter it of trust. He's doing things that are out of character. No? If you think it's in character, then that's a bigger problem. Again, I Look, think people are seeing two sides of the same coin and there is absolutely no flexibility in in your perspectives. I don't have much flexibility when someone swings a fist at me. Well, what would Am you... I wrong? I'm sorry. No, but what would this flexibility look like? What would that look like? I mean, really, what would it look like? 
You expect him to bend, but not a Graven. I can't be checking my shoulder at my own party member in addition to whatever the fuck we're fighting with He's you. He's right. You can't be. And it's not safe for you. And that is ultimately our job, is to protect you. And if he's doing things, that can get us into a situation what where What were the moments leading up to the punch? Oh, I don't know. I, I heard the argument. I mean, I heard him yelling at you for the trace, I think. He asked me. He said two words to me. What were they? Oh, I'm Something like, give, give me the... You weren't thing, there. Right? No, no, I was, no I, I was right outside. You guys were shouting. He asked, for the, he asked for the trace. He walked into the room, asked for the trace. I ignored him because I was looking at documents I had just found from Marvin Bishop, which okay. seemed important. He grabbed me. Okay. Words were exchanged, and then he swung at me because I wouldn't give him the trace. Imagine for just one... Hold on. Hold on. Imagine for just one second you go through a defeat, a defeat that you've been preparing for, waiting for, for months. A vulnerable moment, a weak moment, and someone who's supposed to be on your side walks into a room, grabs you, and takes a swing at you. And then you're asked for forgiveness. Imagine if he doesn't, very quietly, imagine if he doesn't kill the Chimera. Hold on, imagine he doesn't kill the Chimera. How devastating that would be to his heart. And then I get in some silly quabble with him afterwards and take a swing at him. I think we'd all be screaming that Erland's the bad guy. Erland's the bad guy. Erland... We would be. Rightfully so. It wasn't the time. Yes, we have disagreements. Yes, we have disagreements about how strategies need to happen. Yes, I have been annoying. Yes, I have made mistakes. Of course I have. We all have. You're right. He knows he's been annoying. I didn't know Shut you Shut up, that. Safira. Safira looks... Oh, uh, sorry. Satiria looks like she's approaching from around the bar. Right. She kind of comes around the bar and as, starts to move in your As she starts moving in the direction. What I don't do is attack my own. Did you, um, find Deldun? No, I didn't. I asked for him, but he wasn't around, unfortunately. Well, that sort of makes sense, because... And she takes a little key out of her pocket. Mm. He's here. Mm. Oh. Oh. <coughs> First room on the left at the top of the stairs. Thank you, right. Sateria. Nice to see you all. Good to nice see, to you, see you. She turns around, heads back to the bar, and that is where we're going to take our break. Oh! Before we go over to Graven and oh uh, track down his armor over at Battle Ready. How long are jousts usually? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Graven's just yeah. standing outside. Like, um, it, would, it would probably be over. No. <laughs> Especially because it would it would not still so be taking sad. place like into the dark of the night because they would yeah. try. Oh yeah, because smoking. that would be. I mean, they could have dangerous. lamps and candlelight, but yeah. but uh, yeah, they would his keep it. His poor stupid brother had nobody to sit next to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, poor stupid oh, no. brother. The whole time, oh. someone's like, someone's saying, like, "No, I have a friend oh, coming." I have a friend. Oh. I no, swear, I swear. Don't say that. That's <laughs> Look, guy, no one's been in that no. seat. I'm gonna sit there. So what, did, what did he call his? Oh what did Verne call his brother? Did he call him like an he idiot? He was an idiot. He was, yeah. like, he, was oh, like, no. he was like, you'll have to sit next to my brother. He's, he's an idiot. idiot. Oh, you little idiot. I'm sitting in that chair. No, that poor little guy. Um, we don't, you don't know him. Poor little idiot, though. He was so lonely. He could be it's a... true evil. That's just, I guess. His brother's Chicago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the lights were subscribed as soon as we got started, and then hey. it SNF2 oh. resubbed for 27 oh. months, I think it was. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you very much. much. Um, nice. We're going to take our quick little break. Once again, the Too Long Didn't Watch yeah. uh, yes. is in there, and the little lore episode yeah, one chapter recap. One lore. Chapter one oh, recap. Yeah, chapter one lore. So we'll take a quick one, and we'll come back, <gasps> and we'll revisit Maupa. See you on the other side, everybody. Right there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back <laughs> to A Peek Beneath the Veil, chapter 96. We temporarily leave the courtyard of the Upa Ale House with its... Oh, yes, please. Oh. Sorry. Summer 777 <laughs> gifted a sub. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry I missed it. We Thank leave the so Upa Ale House to visit Somber and his friends. <gasps> It's a quiet place. Yes. <laughs> Very somber. Um, great, thank you guys so much. Yes. Really appreciate it. So we head over to Battle Ready. So Graven gets directions to Sarndaro's kind of uh, training yard, place of business that he operates out of, traveling to the western end of Naupa. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And even if you had no prior understanding of where in Villers Vet the tournament was being held, the sounds of merriment and excitement in an otherwise modest part of town would lead you directly to Battle Ready, 
where a near blinding array of lanterns along the front wall fill the square with light. Banners with coats of arms have been hung just above the double door entrance, and some light trumpet fanfare plays each time one of the armored participants passes through the doors on their way out. It seems like the very ending stages of the joust. Okay. An acknowledgement of their good sportsmanship and skilled participation. So you'll see one come out, and a couple of them, they're doing a good job maintaining professional, but some of them with minor injuries, dents in their armor as they sort of limp, sort of giving a little wave to the cloud. You'll see people kind of clapping, and again, a little bit of trumpet fanfare each time they, they leave the arena. And it's obvious that this main event has come to a close, but many of the spectators have lingered in the streets to wish the riders well, or perhaps critique their performance, as untrained eyes love to do. The largest part of the crowd is gathered around a tall, striking man that you recognize, Lawson Vernet, in a flashy red and gold tunic that's doing an excellent job distracting from a veneer of sweat and oily hair after what was likely several exhausting rounds of, you know, on horseback and a heavy set of armor as you run back and forth. He's smiling broadly, and he's shaking hands with those around him a number of times, and he has the demeanor of a man who perhaps has claimed victory. He raises a chin, kind of acknowledging the people around him with a, with a warm smile. So that's the scene that you're kind of seeing. Once again, it seems like people are leaving and sort of well-wishing as they, as they exit battle ready. Now, he had said that he was going to be able to use his own for the actual joust because it would be ready, but he needed mine to practice with? Or no, no, he needed he mine used for yours. the joust. He, okay. needed, he wanted it before the joust so that he could practice with it because he didn't want to joust in a set of armor he had never worn before. Got it. So he used your armor. Because I think when, I think I actually looked at this, when you talked to him, he said his armor wouldn't be ready for like 10 days to oh, be like repaired. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, so, so yes. We'll get, we can fuck that off. He's yeah, not, he's not wearing your armor right now, but okay. he's presumably <laughs> Where <used> is he? <laughs> 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 All right, um... Uh, try to find an opening. Is there somebody kind of near him that looks like a curmudgeonly brother, maybe? Uh, give me a perception check. <laughs> mm-hmm. Natural one. Natural there one. he is. <laughs> There's a large crowd around him, and it's hard to tell who is distinguished beyond being simply, you know, spectators, members of the audience. Mm-hmm. Nobody that has an appearance that strikes you as immediately Nobody similar. else is seven feet tall. No, definitely not that. That would stand out. You don't see that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll try to find an opening-ish of him, you know, going around to people. Okay, yeah. You sort of stand in the back of that little crowd, and as he's shaking a few hands, you see him... Hmm. Shakes another person's hand. Thank you. Thank you. And works his way over to you. Your armor served me well. (laughs) There was a glancing blow in one of the early rounds that would have damaged and unbalanced a lesser set of mail, but... Yours held strong. How did you fare overall? I think that uh, my victory tunic speaks for itself. Oh. I now own a number of these. And it seems like that was like, instead of a trophy or any kind of a placard, like he has like a fine tunic that looks like it was made for the victor in in some capacity. Mm. It's a little short because not everyone is as tall as I am. (laughs) But something to hang in my bedroom, perhaps. Congratulations. I... Uh, I did intend to make it to the actual event. Ah, that's all right. You saved yourself having to sit with my brother. <laughs> right. What? Is he okay? What, what? He's fine. Wendell! He motions to the side, and a man kind of waddles out, and he's not curmudgeonly, but he kind of aloof, and he has vaguely some of the characteristics of Lawson's face, but this guy must be 5'8 at best, like a good foot plus tall, shorter than his brother. He kind of waddles forward. Hello, I'm Wendell. Uh, This is my brother Wendell, and he's an idiot. (laughs) It's true, I am often an idiot. (laughs) Um, Brotherly love. Help Squire, you were... Anything of the sort? Yes, he helps me with my armor and my horses and things, but tell him what your real vocation is. Uh, I like to gamble. Mm. And uh, I'm not good at it. I see. (gasps) Careful with that. Like I said, this is why I call him an idiot. (laughs) So you can have your armor back, 
you'll find a bit of fine padding on the interior. Mm -hmm. It's yours to keep. Helps with mobility, comfort. And um, he reaches into a pocket. Here's 10 more gold. Call it a winner's cut (sighs) on top of the 10 I already gave you. Much appreciated. There was a purse for the winner, so it's the least I can do. I hope you still have a substantial amount of that. I do, I have plenty, but I don't do it for the money. I do it for the renown. Mm. Are there other events that you do here? After I get my armor, I'm headed to Dillasoon. There's another tournament there. Of the same sort, just Another joust, yes. Dillasoon. How soon? Uh, it's in a month or so, a month and a half. All right. I hear that the mountain folk are skilled riders from a young age. But if you ever see me around and I have a moment to spare, I'd be happy to show you some techniques if you're interested. Uh, Mounted combat, that kind of thing. That does sound interesting. I say this only because you showed some interest in the sport when we spoke. I make no inference or slight as to your ability to ride. (laughs) Not at all. I haven't seen much of it as a sport before, mostly. Now there, there are some principles that apply to practical mounted combat. Of course, you would likely not be using a lance, but... Right, maybe something like, <laughs> I've got two maces hanging from my hip. <laughs> yeah. More something like this. Could do a bit of damage with that, yes. Hmm. Uh, I find myself with an extra. You don't have any use for a, a mace, do you? Mm-hmm. Not the kind. I don't do contracts or bounties of that kind. Just a lance for me. Right. Oh, uh, congratulations again. Uh, okay. Are you uh, celebrating for the rest of the night? I think I might head over to the Upe Ale House for a drink. I uh, believe I'm headed that way myself. And if we cross paths, I'll give you a little more winner's cut and buy you an ale. Uh, thank you. Wendell, get his armor. Yes, I will do that. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll no. He's fine, I love him. <clears throat> Good to have people around you. You can. Yes, we don't choose our family, do we? Uh, no. No. Um. Where do you live in Nova? Oh no, I'm not from Navikapura. From, from the south, or in Chupa. Or in Chupa. Yes. I've traveled all over. Hmm. Jousting used to be uh, more of a event during the Emperor's time, Emperor Pachacamac, the war, events of this nature sort of fizzled out as the different communities, they didn't invite people into their own as often, so mm-hmm. you'd get lost, less people traveling for uh, events or shows or any of that kind of thing, but now that things are starting to piece themselves together, we're starting to see more tournaments pop up. This is the first one that San has hosted, as far as I know. He did a very nice job, I will say. Yes, it seems well put together. Well, I'm sorry you missed it. <sighs> so am I. Yes. Waylaid. Hmm. Extenuating circumstances. That's all right. We all have things to do. Or in Chupa. I haven't been there in a while myself. We came from there about a month ago. I've been there less frequently than a month ago. Like I said, I've been traveling. Where were you before now? I was training in Tuktu for a while. There are a couple of very skilled riders there. Most of the city was shut down. Yes, yeah, outside of the city. There's farmland that we use as sort of a mock uh, huh. jousting hmm. pitch. Oh, who, who are your jousting friends there? Uh, Julian Runefell, very skilled rider. And Zanias Bosk. Bosk, the name rings a bell, but I didn't spend much time in Tuktu. I only know him for his riding skill. He is a horse trainer, so grew up with horses. Right. Yeah. Well, um. Forgive me for being presumptuous, but you seem preoccupied. Mm. <sighs> it's that been here in Navikapura for a few days now, and Got to tie up some loose ends before I take off in, at noon. Mm. Head north. Well, good luck wherever you're headed. Mm-hmm. North to Dillasoon. Mm, no, uh, more to the mountains. No. 
When right. people say north from the week of war, they usually mean Dillison. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, that's that's a bit more north west. Well, west. sure, but yes, but the only sort of large settlement north of Navikapur. Right. Yeah. Do you know the, um, what's the guy's name? Carl? Uh, the, uh, Volmalgas. Volmalgas. <laughs> are you familiar with the Volmalgas? I have heard the name, yes. But I Some suppose, renown? as you said, you were not in the bounty business, so. No. Although I, um, I understand that the rewards are great if you're able to complete these uh, tasks that Mr. <laughs> Volmalga has set upon. Mm. Yeah, we've come across a number of people who, uh, who are on one of his quests. I am not a bounty hunter, but as I mentioned, I am a chaser of renown, so <laughs> the thought appealed to me to take a trip up to the mountains. Never got that far, though. <laughs> It's difficult to uh, stop doing something when you're very, very good at it. <laughs> How does one start in jousting? Does it not start with more of a actual battle base? I have some military training. I didn't fight much in the war, but I also won't tiptoe around it. I grew up wealthy. It's a lot easier to get training on a horse when you're wealthy. Makes sense. Sorry to disappoint. No, not at all. Just not what I expected. I'm disappointed in my own self, where I was for a while. It's difficult to get the renown that you want when you're already known for being wealthy. People mm. assume that it's a product of your wealth. People do like to assume. Yes. I suppose it's easier. That's why I chose something physical in nature. Wealth. A man against a man, a man against a woman, doesn't matter what your wealth is when you go together in combat or face each other down on the pitch. The great equalizer. <laughs> Aye. Well, if I'm ever handed my first loss, perhaps I'll take a trip up to the Vomalgas. I'm sure they would have something for you. <laughs> and as he's speaking, Wendell comes out, he's sort of... <laughs> struggling with the armor. I mean, you know, with, without someone in it, it's not impossible for him to move, but it's a big set of armor, so you can hear it kind of rattling the little pieces of scale mail. And as he's carrying it, you can see a nice sort of black fabric inlay in the uh, mm. in the inner portion oh, right. of the uh, of the scale mail armor. And he comes shuffling over. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start putting yeah, it on. Yeah, you can start to put it on. Yeah. He slips your, you know, arms through it, and you... You sort of expect that familiar pinch when you let it drop onto your shoulders of the just the metal hitting skin, mm -hmm. or at least like the tunic there that's underneath. But it kind of slides on and it has a knife kind of just kind of shifts into place over your body. There's a kind of a you're not sure if it's silk, but it has a fine soft fabric on the interior that's giving you a nice little padding. <laughs> and in addition to the feel of it, you move around and it creates less noise. Like before when you would move with the scale, it had kind of a little just yep. shifting rattle. But as you move around, it has a quieter, just sort of, uh, Ooh, yeah, less, uh, less noticeable Be nice. Be nice. Ah, uh, that does feel uh, much more comfortable. Yeah. I'm glad that I could do something for you. My other armor is uh, quite customized, so I gave it a little bit of what I had on the other one. Mm. Feels good. Well, there's a very, very small dent right by the right hip. That's where I was nicked, but shouldn't be anything that affects its performance. No matter. Well, I maybe I'll see you at the alehouse. Uh, enjoy your revels. I will. I'll make a few rounds and make my way over. And thank you. Uh, you. Yes. <laughs> Stay away from those tables. I won't. <laughs> I'll probably see you at the alehouse. Oh, good. Yes. Keep an eye on him if you see him there. I will. <laughs> Have a good night, Graven. Good night. Awesome. Where do you head? Uh, into the alehouse. Right. We will return. I head to <laughs> <laughs> the sky. Um, <laughs> So returning to the alehouse, where grave, uh, where Erlen, Severa, and Orba are seated. Orba, give me a perception check as well. Yeah. Time that's passed. 
Nine. Nine. Yeah. You can't hear what he's saying, but only because you spoke to him at one time before and because he's like moving between oh, tables. This you bitch. see the guy from the Lakafuyu yeah. that you spoke oh to briefly. God. And again, you can't hear exactly what he's saying, but doing the similar kind of thing, moving from table to table, kind of offering tidings and, and just sort of a, a passing blessing to people around you. So in addition to Barney Morgan, who Severe had already seen, you see that Hamish is hanging around this area as well. So just a couple of figures that you recognize here. In the I have to take this meeting. They'll do. Oh. Yeah, you did hear Saturian. You're like, oh, that fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were so inclined. The meeting comes to me. <laughs> Can I leave you two alone? Please, yes. Yeah. Uh, good luck, I guess. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know. I just told him I'd talk to him. Sure. Okay. Right. Good luck. I hope he's well. <sighs> Take a big, bigger yeah. sip of ale than normal. Sure. And I'm going to take the key and head upstairs. Yeah, start to head upstairs. You get to the top of the stairs. All the doors along the row here are closed, but... Um, She's the first one on the left, right? She did, yep. I'm going to... knock lightly. <clears throat> you don't get a response. I'm going to use the key and... quietly crack the door. Crack the door. Okay. You peer inside. And you can tell right away that... The reason you didn't get a response from sort of a gentle knock is he seems to be in a kind of quiet meditative state, not in not doing anything sort of out of the ordinary, but his eyes closed, he's seated in kind of a cross-legged position. And he's wearing the traditional sort of stripped cloth clothing that you're familiar with of the Radiran elves, although there is kind of a new pair of pelt shoulder pads that are connected by a chain in the front. You can't tell if that's kind of possibly a formal accessory for these negotiations, like a kind of way to dress up and show a little respect to some of the elves that he was meeting with, or possibly a denotion... De denotion? <laughs> no, that's not a word. Denotation? De am I? Den denotion? I don't think denotion oh, is I'll just right. let you flounder here. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm not convinced you know the answer. <laughs> I do, it is denotation. Denotation? denotation you got it right. <laughs> And as he sits, you can see him, again, sort of quietly breathing in and out. You watch his chest kind of rise and fall as you enter the room. And also resting on the floor beside him are a pair of small glass containers with a, fl with a, a flat bottom that almost kind of have like, a, like an urn uh, appearance to them. They're kind of a bluish glass. So he's kind of sitting there quietly in meditation as well. <clears throat> And he cracks one eye. Open. Close the door behind me. Here's the door. Satyria gave me a. Um... <laughs> and he stands, and the strips kind of flutter a little bit as he stands. I am told that Skitskir gave you a hard time in the mountains for taking his map. Mm. He did, yes. Hmm. I am also told that you experienced some degree of success on your assignment. For we which did. I offer you congratulations. We did, yes. Largely because of the map. I understand that your lofty promise to put a dent in the Black Lion forces fell somewhat short, however. I do apologize for that. However, I do hope that in destroying a significant portion of the Harvesting Yard, they are perhaps less organized, both the Black Lions and those who have taken your land from you. Mm. I hope so, too. We all must protect our own. Is Skedskir still in Mukmu, near Mukmu? No, he has come north. Are any of your kind left near Mukmu? A few scouts keeping an eye on Radira, the grove. But most of us have come north, small bunches, one at a time. What is your hope here? Hope is fleeting. Hmm. We hoped to negotiate with the Elatrians at the suggestion of Mrs. Dusik downstairs. The Elatrians 
control a sizable portion of Trickster's Thicket. I don't think that they are keen to give up any bit of area for the Redeerance, and honestly, I don't know if I blame them. If not there, we had an idea to perhaps try and negotiate with the Shade Assembly and set up camp in Finlock Forest. Do you have connections at the Shade Assembly? No. Then how would the negotiations begin? I don't know. Does that seem true? I'm making it such. <laughs> oh, ten. It's never good. It's and, never good. Don't you like a plus eight? So far, the conversation he, he has been sort of laced with sincerity for the most part. I mean, you certainly don't pick up any indications otherwise. What is it you hope to get from the Shade Assembly, then? Permission to settle there. I hear they're very cagey. I hear the same. Why there? Why not? It's a large continent. Smaller than you think. <laughs> the Redirans wouldn't settle anywhere but the woods. And the woods large enough to take in such a settlement are limited. Ackley Grove, perhaps? The Ackley Elves are there. The Tempests make it difficult. We would have to adapt the Ackley lifestyle, which is to rove from portion to portion. I am not sure that that is the Redeeran way. Well, I appreciate your help, let's call it, in allowing us to escape with the map. We wouldn't have been able to succeed without it. So this is me upholding my end of the bargain. Yes. That end of the bargain have you reconsidered what I told you? Yes. And? I'd still like the names. What we saw at the harvesting yards was worse than I could have ever imagined. And the Redeerin elves are strong. I'm not saying that to butter you up. If you take Mike in an extract, there is a severe chance that it will be used against you. Short-term gain, perhaps, to fight. But it sounds like what you need right now is not to fight, but to negotiate. You're not going to invade the Shade Assembly, are you? No. And you're not going to take down the entire Black Lions, as well as the entire Mykonid trade within Mukmu, the Lemonade Man and Normania. I don't think there is a hope of that, no. But a short-term gain could mean the recapture of Radira. There are some that cling to that hope. Mm. Last try. <laughs> They're using those who take Mike an extract and experimenting upon them. Only if they are captured alive, yes? You knew this? No, I'm inferring from what you're telling me. I honestly don't even know if being alive is a prerequisite for these experiments. And I don't think you'd want to face undead reincarnated versions of your friends. Make a persuasion check. Ooh, spooky. No. Oh, man. <laughs> four, four. Tea? <laughs> I am not resigned to using it. Your words have not fallen on deaf ears. I don't know how to emphasize that enough. There are people that I have told of our arrangement especially after the map was found missing. All right. Sandero is in this district. Do you know him? I've heard the name, yes. He trains soldiers, fighters. He has what's called an accelerated program that uses Mycodon extract as training. 
<laughs> if perhaps you could convince him to train, or perhaps he can let you know some of his distributors. He's not cagey about it. They're not cagey about Mike and Extract here. That is good. That is useful. I know that they're not concerned with its discussion, but I would be lying if I had said we hadn't made some attempts of our own, and getting people to sell to outsiders in Navikapura is not easy, making it extract or otherwise. You may have to do <coughs> something for them first. We can I, do that. I know that I know that there's a, a man in, um, on the coast named Hatchet who sells micro. I'm sure he has connections for my kind of extract if he's making his own micro. Hatchet, that's the man's <laughs> name. Yes. Hmm. Strange. Why? If that's his real name. Oh. Hatchet. I have no idea if that's his real name. <laughs> that's what people call him. Yeah. All right. I hesitate to give you one last name because you're desperate. If I tell you that I will try the others in the order that you gave them to me first, <laughs> will you give me the third name? Sure. McKenna at the short ports. I feel as if I've heard it. I believe that all Mike and an extract sales go through him. However, I also believe, and I do not have proof for this, I believe that he is embroiled in the very thing you're fighting against. The harvesting yard, the experiments. So perhaps I would suggest not asking him directly, but those around him, connections with him, find who he's trading to. I'm sure he's um, Sandero's distributor, honestly. If I can avoid dealing with this man directly, I will. If he knows you're taking Mike in an extract, there is a very high... There's very good chance that yours, you or your friends will be Subject to the experimentation that I spoke of. When we, if we take it, it will be far from here. It shortens your life, you know. A short life in Radira is better than a long one elsewhere. <laughs> Do you see the way I look right now? Yes. I'm going to have to spend the rest of my living days trying to prevent this from killing me. I'm going to have to travel the continent and perhaps others trying to find people who can keep me alive. You won't be able to stay quietly in Radira. You will suffer, your loved ones will suffer, and you will travel to healers, to botanists, to druids, trying to rid this from you. But the sons and daughters of Rivera, Radira will live on. Perhaps, but perhaps not, because perhaps you will still fail. And then you will have no land, and your friends, some of your friends, will be poisoned. I understand the impulse, trust me, I do. Just take it from someone stupider than you to think twice. You are not stupid. Sure. And get scared may love his maps, but you are a friend to the Redirans. I appreciate that.
Is there anything else you wish of me? This was my end of the bargain. So it is. I will say, if you find yourself in Mukmu, there's a... and wish to do more damage to the, the those who are sort of holding the area. Yes. There's a group of men run by a wily, second in command as a Dalara. They're holding a man named Marvin Bishop hostage. And this man is who? Scientist. But they're using him to further their cause, which I can only assume minimizes Radira's cause. So if this man were to die, <laughs> the secrets die with him? No, quite the opposite. This man is innocent, and he is being used to create things. I believe that he needs to stay alive, because I believe that they will... Even if this man were to die, for example, they have his writings, they have his work. Hmm. If he stays alive and is fighting for the right side, he could perhaps work against the things that they already know and the things that they're already doing. Does he wish to do this? I believe so, yes. Make a persuasion check. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ten. <laughs> Wiley. Delara. The names are known. And not for nothing, the man they have hostage is a friend of mine. Mm. Mm. Well, I consider your bargain upheld. I appreciate that. And if there, and he starts to move, and his foot kind of <coughs> clinks against the little urns there on the ground. I won't be here for much longer, but if there's anything else you need, you can leave a message with Miss Dusik. What are the um, urns? More of ours have fallen since we last spoke. I'm sorry to hear that. I am. When a Radiran dies outside the grove, they are to be burned and their ashes carried back to Radira when possible. I heard there was a skilled glass blower here in the Vikapura, so I had her craft these urns for commemoration and transportation. Someone in this town is trying to kill me. The glass blower? No. <laughs> Maybe. No. Oh. You don't know me. Um, another monk. His name's Shakar. Tiefling. Have you seen him? I have not heard this name, but I have spent very little time inside the city walls. He often stays here, that's why I ask. I have not been here long. Well, he's trying to kill me, so if you do see him, and I'll describe Shakar. Mm-hmm. Um, just kill him, would you? <laughs> if there is a place to do this, it will be done. I appreciate that. And you can let, um, Miss Dusick to pass. If you do happen to be successful, let Miss Dusick know, and I'm sure I'll find out. I will. Does she know this man? Probably. He stays here quite regularly. She doesn't know that he's trying to kill me right now. Hmm. A gift. He reaches down, takes one of the hands. A way to say thanks. Empty? It's empty. <laughs> you can see through. It's like, <laughs> like <laughs> opaque bluish glass. You can see inside. Okay, it's empty. Oh Who's God. in there? <laughs> Who we got? <laughs> what? Does it's it simply a token of thanks? Oh. oh. It was made to, to mimic the traditional Radiran shape of urns. Mrs. Pleasance does excellent work. Pleasance? Glass blower, yes. Thank you. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. Good to see you again, Daldoon. Yes. Have a good evening. Hello. 
You can hear the sounds of the Ube Ale House down below. And as you were having that conversation, we will go downstairs a little bit here to uh, Orban Sabrina. You left your beer? <laughs> yeah, sure did. Sweet. Was it like... I oh, like had like, a couple tiny sips, sips and one big old big, sip. Probably a little less than half full. Orb is gonna like stand up on the chair, <laughs> reach over, and pull it over. She's gonna start kind of playing with it, taking sips from it. I apologize. I regret saying it. What? Uh, what? I yelled at you. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, right. It's okay. Didn't know you could get that angry, actually. I had never seen that before. Well, it's been kind of building. <laughs> right. Yes, I understand that. That's understandable. You're allowed to be angry, Orba. You're allowed to be angry at me. I wasn't angry at you. Oh, you're, that's allowed, you know. I know. Spears like is going to kind of give her like an awkward <laughs> little like pat and <laughs> sip her beer. Arlen keeps saying that. I know. I know. It scared him. It scared me too, you know. Look, I know it's not that I don't like Graven. It's that he has been acting out of character. And it's happened since we had to do that thing with the, all the fucking crystals. I don't know what we're going to do with those, incidentally. But I, I'm sure we'll find something. I, I, I think it scared him. That's my theory. I think he got into some trouble and it scared him. And now he's not behaving rationally. And I don't know how to fix that, because I can't talk to him. He doesn't like me. And to be fair, I get angry every time I talk at him. So, you know. And I said at him, which is <laughs> accurate. So I, I don't... <laughs> or it's not, it's not even the wrong... exhaustingly laughing. <laughs> it's not even the wrong preposition. But, you know... If he acts out of anger in a moment when we're vulnerable, I don't know how we respond to that. And, uh, and I want to make sure I know he's not going to. And the way he was acting, tearing up my posters. Look, if he thought it was a dumb idea, that's fine. But he can tell me. He's got, you know, the facility of his language with him. So Did he, can... he tell you? No, he just ripped the thing up. I mean, I was surprised. I mean, he's, uh, no, he said it was a bad idea. And then immediately, re- there was no conversation, right? You know, it was not negotiation. Okay. Not that everything has to be, but, you know. It's, it's a lot. He's a, he's a big guy, Graven. You know, he's a big guy, and Erlen's not as big. And, you know, it's a bit scary, to be honest. So I don't completely blame him. Erlen would never say that, but, you know, it's a bit intimidating. You think Erlen got scared when he saw Graven? I don't know. Graven, Graven scared up to me. Face? I'd be a little bit scared, not going to lie, if I went far enough away to... I don't know. I think I'd be more scared of Erlen punching me in the face. Eh, I don't know. He's a monk. <laughs> That's, like, literally what he does. That's I suppose like what he just he's doesn't seem to tough, to do. does he? He doesn't. I know he is, right? I've seen him do stuff, but he doesn't seem it, does he? Anyway, I think he's scared. I think they're both a bit scared. And I'm I'm angry because obviously, you know, I don't think we were going to get Marvin that day. I think Raven's right. It was never going to happen. But, you know, obviously, he's an innocent guy and we wanted to save him. We've been planning it for months. It's hard. I know you know it's hard, so. Yeah, poor Marvin. I know. Or was gonna take a nice big swig after that thought. <laughs> you go for the big swig and last traces well, of the dribbles. ale. Yeah, not much left after. Well, I'm sorry. And it's all right. I mean, I'm not angry. I'm concerned. I don't know what to do. Well, I, again, I hope that just <laughs> over time. Hopefully, in the next couple hours. Maybe oh, I like while we're your standing. idea. I really like oh. your idea. I think it's a good idea to try to lure him out with his ego. That's a really what? good idea. I didn't realize this guy I'd, was so messed up. I mean, I, I, I don't know who wants. I, well, I don't understand. Is he's gotten himself involved with something that he, surely he can't know? It makes me a bit sad, right? Because I don't want this guy to die. He seems to be some kind of a trickster. I don't think he actually even necessarily wants to kill Erland. But the problem is, he's now gotten himself into a position where he did nearly get us killed. And what am I supposed to do with that? We don't, I, we don't want to get involved with this. This is a waste of our time. Well, but it'll be worse if we come back and then he screws everything up when we try to do the important thing, you know? Well, so what do we do? Do we, like, lure him out by having Erland in here? I think that's a good idea. Like, oh, the, oh, the fork tongue is a bunch of babies. They can't <laughs> win no fights. Oh, right. And, and then Shakar's like, oh, I can't let that stand. And then We Shikar can comes hope. Up. I mean, I suppose we can be hopeful and talk as loud as we can about how wimpy the monks of the Forked Tongue are and then, you know, hope that he yeah. comes out of the woodwork. And 
Hopefully, I mean, the best thing that we could hope for is he comes out of the woodwork, swinging like a maniac, and does something that basically gets himself killed. Like punches himself in the face? No, I just mean so if hard. he's so <laughs> obviously being a nightmare, yeah. and then one of us kind of strikes okay. him down, then people might be like, well, he was, you know, being a nightmare at least, so. <laughs> right. He did get murdered, like, but he was a nightmare. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll not see. saying people will excuse murder. I hope not, but at the same time, I don't know. He is a bit of a nightmare, really. That's a pretty good option, though. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think it's it's that, or it's you know, uh, it's a great idea too to send him out on a contract. That advocate seemed quite cross with me. I wasn't trying to be difficult. I just meant I don't think if he comes back within a month, that's kind of moot. I don't think it's our behavior that put him off. I think w- we just said, hey. We can't really manage one monk right, as I a group, that's true. and that's they hired us to, like, you know, kill monsters, and we're yeah. like, oh no, this monk, right. we can't do it. So I don't. Think Doesn't look great. No, there's some PR problems. Right, that's I understand that now. So that's what I think. Well, was it the wouldn't problem. be a problem, would it? What's frustrating is it's 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 the fact that we're in such a public. Place, because we could easily have handled that guy, but we had 12 other guys in front of We could have handled sure. him, but he ran yeah. off, and we didn't have time to fucking handle him when we could have. So that would have been brilliant, honestly. If he'd stayed around, then we could have just well, dealt with it then. But it. We'll so see we can't, we just does. need to do it privately, Mr. Advocate. Well. <laughs> Let's be nice to the advocates, please. <sighs> Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> Can we perception check? <laughs> was an advocate right behind Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You no. be nice. <laughs> yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. As you're just talking, Negative you know, one. you look over your shoulders a couple no. times. Just, just oh, fifteen. I'm <laughs> sorry, minus. I subtracted one instead of adding one. Sophia was like, you know what? I'm not paying attention. I don't want to see. I'm minus. I subtracted one. Your head on the back yes, too. I just hit my head. It's oh, okay. Brother. That's a note. That's his negative one. Sophia leans back, <laughs> clinks her head against someone on the other table. But as you look around. <laughs> You look over, and it seems that Barney Morgan has clocked your presence. <laughs> he doesn't walk over to you, but he's like having a little bite to eat. No. And kind of. Oh, crap, crap. He's what? seen me. He's seen me. The guy's seen me. <laughs> I don't know what oh, to do now. Oh, the socially awkward fella. Oh, and Severe's going to kind of just turn away and act like she's... And you can I, see oh. him over Severe's shoulder. Should, should, I, should I laugh or something? We're having a very intense conversation. Oh. You obviously couldn't interrupt us, right? Ha ha ha! I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Is he looking over his still? I don't want to look. I'm He's scared. Still very much oh, I don't want this. I have to. Say, I just have to say. I suppose that I didn't do the thing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she gets up out of his chair. He takes a few tentative steps care. in your direction. He seems like he's trying not to like interrupt, cry. you know, a private conversation. So he he doesn't immediately walk up. He takes a couple steps and sort of. Uh, yeah, sorry, mate. I I uh, I I haven't had a chance to um to do the thing yet. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. Right, <laughs> Barney. Right. Yes. 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 But still planning to do it. <laughs> Yes. Make a decision. No! <laughs> no! Oh, no! no! It's a natural one! <laughs> I'm gonna. Dummy. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. You fucking dummy. <laughs> oh my. He sees the look on your face. Oh my. And there's just something about the delivery of the news that. <laughs> He detects just it puts him off just a little bit, and he he can behind you. He can also see Orba like watching very intently the exchange that's going on. <laughs> so sorry, mate. Uh, you fucking turned it in, didn't you? <laughs> uh, um. Well, the problem is I, I I had a somebody else kind of had done me a favor. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I. Didn't Who was it? His voice <laughs> cracks a little bit. Um, uh, Sondero did me a big solid, so he was... Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> it was not my intention to do that, but it was. It kind of happened after the fact, and I figured since he had done me a favor and there had been exchange, I'm sorry. I'm really... That's... I'm sorry. You're dishonest. Yeah. you Yes, I am. I'm dishonest. Dishonest, you! Very, very dishonest. I'm so sorry. You know, this is one thing that Mukbu has right. Yeah. The standing system holds people accountable. 
Okay. I'm going to start my own system. And he's sort of talking to the, the, <laughs> the courtyard at large. You should do the that. The Morgan Standard! Uh, okay. And you, my friend, have fallen below the Morgan Standard. I, okay. Do I get a demerit or something? You're trying to be funny. <laughs> no, I actually feel really bad. Um, <laughs> how about... And so we're going to reach into our coin purse mm -hmm. and I'm going to pull out... Can I give you a bit of gold? I've got... And I'm going to hand him... Th I've got three gold here if you wanted... And he looks like you can see in his face that from a pride standpoint, he doesn't want to take it from you, but he <laughs> snatches the gold I'm out I'm sorry, of mate. I, I'm sorry. It's not just the gold, you know. It's the... I, I know. I, it was the... Taking I, me seriously. Yeah, I know. I take you seriously, if it helps. It doesn't. Okay. Well, good night to you. Good night. Good. Bye. Dishonest. Yes. Dishonest. I know. I'm so sorry. Put your like this around. I, Write I, liar on it. He's I, sort of walking away. <laughs> in it. Please tell me. He really goes around Shikars. writing a liar. I'm not that guy's posters. after you. Shakar's after me. He's not Tatum after Tatum. me. That guy's not after me. Safira is going to turn around and see Orba be red <laughs> laughing like so hard at her. That was really embarrassing. What happened? I told him that I was going to turn... I told him I was going to give the Broken Crown his name when I turned myself in, and I didn't. I told him it was Sandero that had sent me, because Sandero, I don't know, he seemed like a more... Spear's going to say it's very quiet. A more important guy, you know? <laughs> I wanted to... I didn't want to... But I didn't want to... That was... I feel so mean. I told I didn't think Sondero would want me to do that. I promised him first. I didn't have any idea. <laughs> okay, I know I discredited you and you said you didn't want to make eye contact with this person, but that was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen in my life. That was very uncomfortable. I never want to live. I never. I don't think I can come back here. Actually, <laughs> it's okay. It's mortifying. I don't know if anybody... the locals are going to hate me. I think everyone heard them screaming that I was just. I mean, it's Honestly, fair enough. You, fair enough. I, I don't know if anybody takes in that. No, seriously. I don't. No, I don't see why they would. As he was shouting, "Dishonest, dishonest, Morgan St People were mostly like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. buddy. Rolling eyes, oh. sipping their nails, waiting for the, the moment to pass. Strikes me as a kind of guy that hasn't caught a break in a while, so. It's okay. I have the gold. Basking in the embarrassment a little bit, Erlen comes down. You don't. You get to the bottom oh of the stairs God. where it's like kind of next Do I hear him yelling dishonest? Uh, no, that was. <laughs> 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 dishonest! <laughs> She's dishonest! <laughs> Get there just to be post live. <laughs> oh, oh my god. So you get to the bottom stairs. <sighs> Hi. You finished my ale. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Uh, we had an awkward encounter. It's fine. It's really not important. Couldn't it be less important, actually. Did your, um, is, is Del Duno all right? I'm sort of offended that I left and now everyone's happy again. <laughs> uh, well, you'd be laughing too. It's not a product of your absence directly, but, you know, indirectly. Maybe. Can I get you a drink, Erlen? <laughs> no, I... Sure, yes. Yeah? Yes, all right. What do you want? Uh, no, whatever. Ale. whatever. An ale's fine. Oh, great. So, did it go well? Is he all right? Daldoon's all right. He just he got, got me this urn as a, as a oh, thank you for that's sort nice. of... Does it do anything? Uh, no, it's just pretty. It's a Radirin oh. thing. Oh, okay. That's very generous of him. Yes, I suppose what's perhaps more exciting <laughs> is that... Um, uh, Pleasance is the glass blower who made it. She's quite renowned. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we've heard the name before. Uh, well, we haven't heard the name before, but we have seen the name before. Oh, right. She's oh. worked with Marvin. She's worked with Marvin Bishop. That's it's, great It information. says designed by Marvin Bishop and what? Lenses by T. Pleasance. So she could perhaps tell I've us the what glass. these goggles do. Right. Yeah. And if they exist. Yeah, yeah, true. Perhaps we could try out a prototype in the field. That would be great. Anyways, something for tomorrow, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. that's I'm, very interesting. You know, still alive. Did you get to talk to him about anything else, or? Oh, I asked him to kill Daldoon if he sees him. Sorry, I asked Daldoon to kill Shakar if he sees him. <laughs> that would have been confusing. Um, oh, and was oh, he did like, he say yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yes, if he get him privately, he'll kill him. Yes. Wow. Right. Yes. Daldoon really likes you. Well, we did destroy a significant part of the camp and disrupted an operation preventing him from getting to Radira. I suppose yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, good. I'm glad some something good happened this day. Well, 
I haven't heard that in a long time. I know. Well, <laughs> actually, I didn't hear that at all. Um, <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> well, I quite like your plan of sort of starting rumors I think it's about great. Chicamp, so I think I should start doing that. Shall we? Should we all start doing that? Well, I'm, I'm, my, I'm thinking about going to the bar, mm-hmm. and we're all very excited about this. <laughs> I'm all go. I, I think we should go to the bar, perhaps play some. Close the box, jump in the box, uh, shut the box. People are playing close the box. Close, what's it called? Shut the box. Shut the box. Shut the 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 box. box. People are playing shut the box. Uh, Yes. However, in order for me to play, I do need... Money? Yes. Oh, I have money. (laughs) How much do you need? Well, I just a bit to gamble, because I figure it would be quite Uh, suspicious if we start sitting down at people's tables being like... Yeah. So if we sit What's down and gamble, What's a reasonable gambling? amount yeah. to start gambling mm. with? I don't want you to use Well, too usually much tables it. start that, like, an orba goes into <laughs> bad detail about. Mm-hmm. So it's like, uh, <clears throat> I think, like, a reasonable amount is probably in the lower silver areas, and then when things get really spicy, we up it to, like, a gold or two, and that's, like, a really oh, big table. How about you give okay. me uh, five gold now, and I'll return any that I don't use? Okay, sure. Just uh, try not to use all of it, but you know. I pull out my coin purse and there's see it's <laughs> empty. A moth yep. flies it makes out. it makes no noise at all as you sort of bring, take it out of your pocket. It's not a touch screen, John. Oh <laughs> my god, amazing. Should we be it's just waiting while you're doing this, or should we be sort of talking about how wimpy these, you know, monks of the Fork Serpent are? Or well, what would should we either be? of you also like to gamble? I think the answer is yes, Van Her. I, I, I would, honestly, well, I, I'd rather not. I think we, as much as possible, try and blend in, sit at the bar, okay. gamble, drink ale, and... I'm happy to drink. I can watch you gamble. I can be more of something. Casually start, you know, speaking ill of fork tongues and shikar Fork-tongue. and how yeah. he was so afraid to fight me. Oh, what the terrified. Big, 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 shaking in his shaking. boots. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what did you say? Shaking in his shaking boots. Shaking in his boots. Very good, yes. <laughs> the group's like, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Shaking <laughs> in his boots, definitely. Shaking in his boots, all right. So as this sort of quiet, almost uh, sort of rising excitement conversation is happening, Graven, you're starting to emerge from the sort of northwesterly region. You see them seated there at the Upe Ale House. So you guys are still sort of quietly discussing the details of, of the plan. This is kind of the outdoor area? Yeah, they're okay. they're just outside the bar area in the courtyards, yeah. technically, yeah. Are there any uh, musicians playing by any chance? No. Mr. There's no one, yeah, there's no, like, bar currently here sort of throwing some money and be like, no. sing a song. Hey. The, song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. the song of the cowardly. Of the cowardly Shakar. What's his least favorite song? Play that one. <laughs> over and over. over and over. <laughs> so you can never get it out of his head. <laughs> Um, Hi. Did you approach us? Yes. <gasps> right! Oh, look at you! Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that looks great. Yes. More comfortable, too. It's got quite a nice lining, actually. Well, I'm going to kind of, like, reach yeah. out and, like... I mean, if you reach between the little plates, the scales there, you can feel the line. That's nice. Yes. We have a good plan. I feel a bit... Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, just that I feel a little bit more restored. Oh. Not Fully, obviously, because I still don't have my energies, but... Right. You look good, though, and we have a good plan. So, we think we can lure him out with his ego. What we do is, we're going around, pretending into the bar, gambling, gambling, we're drinking, and we get to say, what a fucking scaredy cat he is. He's terrified, shaking in his boots, couldn't fight Erland. What a wimp these monks of the forked serpents must be, right? As loud as we can. Sorry, forked tongue. (laughs) Right, it's the earring that's a set, whatever. Monks of the Fork Tongue. Huh? We think that he'll show himself tonight. Uh, it's worth a shot, right? He might be, he's probably in the area, and he might hear that people are talking, I don't know, it's, uh, it's worth a try. He's bound to have like one or two friends like here. Like a friend, right? yeah. I would say the one thing we don't mention is that we killed somebody else from before. Oh, definitely don't mention that. Okay. No. I think that perhaps we can even say that he's tried setting up little traps for me because oh, he's so yeah, afraid. Oh yeah, because he's such a coward. Oh yeah. So that way he will that's perhaps brilliant. not set up any other traps for me. Right, because that makes him look like a coward. Yes, it does. Oh, right. yeah. This is a good plan, guys. And, sorry, what is the end game of him coming out of hiding? Uh, well, hopefully that we uh, nab him and maybe... Oh, we should think about this. If we are going to kill him, we can't do it here, so how are we going to... That's what I'm asking. Well, the hope is that he would sort of come out and... Want to do a duel. Actually fight me in sort of a public place. And then and how would you get to the part where you, you know... And you'd kill him in public. That's the problem, isn't it? Well, if it's a duel... 
I suppose that's true. Well, okay, if it's a duel, so is yeah. that all right? Is this What's the rules? thing where you duel each other and just punch each other into the face? No, the this is highly yeah. irregular. But, this whole thing okay, is highly irregular. But do duels, but, uh, I've only read about duels, but do they always end in death? Because you could just have an out. Well, that's it true. depends. I think perhaps, here's the thing. What are, the, are there rules here in Nova? Do we know? I don't know. I don't... We've gotten in sort of fist fights before. We've done right. pugilism That's before. what I was picturing, but... No, I think that this would have to be a duel until the we sort of set the... Here's the thing, we would set the rules, but you have to know that even if we say to first blood or something, he's going to keep fighting. I well, think that you just need to temper your expectation right now, because I need you to think. The person who sabotaged us, who ran cackling through the woods, who left a riddle for you, we can try. We can try to lure him out, but if and when he does not... What's the next plan, is what you're getting at? Sorry. I think I, the next plan is to wait, right? We are not waiting, we are leaving the city. No, I mean, yeah. we're leaving tomorrow, but I mean tonight. Because he we, was, if, if there was the other possibility was that maybe Villapont did in fact get him a message and maybe he comes on his own. Because I think it's unlikely we're unfortunately going to be able to seek him out in his place of rest and home, right? The we've o- tried to ask around, but I don't know if we've found any great leads. The other thing, and people might not like this suggestion, but this is last resort kind of thing, if he doesn't get lured out, is well, it seems like he's escalating, right? Yeah. So he had this cute little thing at the mail house, and then he had the thing with the oil, and then he had a pretty big one. Yeah. So. And he bought uh, something else. Yeah, and he bought something else, and it's very possible he's gonna go after somebody that you care about now. And if, if we want to consider that a possibility and plan for it and maybe have somebody alone. It's not a bad s- idea. S- just something to consider. Again, last resort. I would be willing to be bait. I don't know if I'm good bait, but I'd do it. Well, how would we... We wouldn't be able to specify which one of you I'm closest to, so that's the one no, you should attack. No, but suppose I'm Honestly, also a half-elf and I have spent some time with you recently. I spent... Time I know, with all of you, I know but I'm just saying I don't want it to be her. And well, I, that's I, the pr- I that's don't the want to volunteer Graven. Entire please. problem yeah. is that we don't get to choose what he's going to do. Right, next. but if you look at if you if you take a look around, and he's already been seen by her for the most part, and he knows me. I mean, I w- wouldn't mess with him. It's true. I wouldn't mess with him either. So maybe it's me. If we stick it's together tonight. <laughs> What are you pointing at? I think the look... I I agree. No offense, the one I'd most like to fight among all of us is the tiefling. Yeah. Huh? What, what do you mean? Orba's not a very good fighter. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, so yeah, I but think that I she might be the target. Somehow I don't think... Yes, but no. But but that's not a... But no, but, but that's not safe. I, uh, no, I... No, no, that's the whole... That's... That's the idea. Why I'm trying to kill him before he attacks all No, I get it. I'm just saying, do we really want to risk luring him out that way? Shall we we try this plan first? Yes, Yes, let's try this first. And see where things end up. Worst case scenario, we're leaving town tomorrow, and he follows us. I mean, I think the worst case scenario is actually us coming back and him being here. But yes, hopefully it doesn't happen. Let's gamble! Erland. Yes. Sits back there. Erland sits back down. (laughs) You called me selfish. I hope you know that the most selfless thing that I could do is leave all of this behind. Go find the other cleric of Kubuzni. Kill them and then slit my own throat. Barring that, I am trying to put things in order and in perspective. My focus has been on the Chimera, yes, and on Orba. And if you think that any of my actions in the last days have been to do anything but to keep us all safe, and especially her, then I think you need to look inward or look somewhere else because you are not seeing things clearly. That is all I will say. 
It's not your intentions that uh, trouble me. It's your lack of restraint. I am used to doing as I please. Yes. Yes. We are not at odds. Don't swing at me again. I will not apologize for what I did. If you cannot recognize why I did it. Perhaps if you told me what you were trying to accomplish by punching me in the face, that couldn't have been done with words. You would not listen to me. You didn't listen. If I had a copper for every time one of you didn't listen to me, I'd be very wealthy. And yet I haven't struck any of you. I haven't even tried to. Well, you, after you tried to hit me. You don't have to like me. You don't. None of you do, frankly. But if we're to protect her... And if we're to kill whatever it is that you want to kill, which, by the way, I might take some convincing on at this point. But first of all, if we're to protect her, we need to at least have an understanding that even if we disagree, I don't have to worry about taking damage from a colleague. You know that what I was trying to do was protect her. And when you didn't listen, and when you wouldn't see what was this what was happening at that moment? Yes, I got frustrated. I'm frustrated all the time, Goliath. I'm serious. I'm angry all the time. I'm frustrated all the time. And now we don't have a piece of evidence that could be helping us right now and potentially, potentially protecting the tiefling. You need to understand that that piece of paper was only a tool for him. You need to understand that. Your opinion. <laughs> Don't swing at me, and we'll be just fine. Do we have a deal? How about this? Swing at me once we're done protecting the tiefling. No? I, I don't understand. Have a go at me. Try and kill me. Fight me as soon as we're done protecting the tiefling. What? I but until then, we're on the same side. I'm truly under trying to understand why you think that is what I want. What? That I want to kill you. I don't think you want to kill me. I think then what are you asking for? A little bit of self-control, and an, or at least enough self-control, that I don't have to worry about you hurting one of us. If what you need to hear is that I will not swing at you, then I will not swing at you. Any of us. Safira, I know you won't hit Orba. I had assumed that I was walking already oh. when she said, I'm so sorry. I literally said, oh, you were you like, were let's go. Time. I was like walking away and I heard you oh, guys then talking about Then that's fine. So then, yeah, yeah sorry. We can say you were walking. Safira, Orba, you don't attack any of us. I you have don't... no intention to. Good. We're going to disagree. Truly. I'm fucking trying. And I'm gonna get up. I just agreed with you. I'm gonna, agreed gonna, with gonna you. get up and I'm gonna walk. Oh, wait, shit, was I there? Oh, uh, were you not there? I, I thought that we left. I thought we left. I thought, oh, we, left. I thought okay. we left. I think we're gonna say that they were, that you guys were walking. Okay, okay great. Yeah. Then I don't say that last bit. I thought Orba was sitting right there watching the whole thing. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> right. I was agreeing with you just then. This is what I'm talking about. I didn't, I'd, if, or, if Orba wasn't there, then I don't say I'm trying. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I just agreed with you. Yes. And then you got mad at me. Yes. Fine. So. Fine. 
We agree. Temporary friends. I will help you the same way that I have helped everyone in this party when it came up. You can't help me, Goliath. You don't have enough sway to get me out of the, uh, out of the Tillman Center. I need you to be a little more focused. I'm talking about Shakar right now. Oh, I'm extremely focused. That's because I just said I was going to help you with this, and you pulled your gaze away. You pulled your gaze back. Try to stay focused. And then maybe you won't be worried about things I did decades ago when it matters to something in the moment. Let's get this done and get out of the city. Don't forget what I've done for you. I'm going to stand up. And as that conversation was going on, going over to the bar where you guys yeah. headed over to, you guys were just like, <laughs> I took it as that I was speaking to, yeah. Yeah, in front of everybody. Oh, but you guys sorry. left. Yeah. Yeah. They, I think they were the under the impression that they left, right. so we'll, 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 right. roll, we'll roll with that. As you guys head over to the bar. I probably would have said something. But... Satir sort of catches your eyes. You guys are approaching a little bit. Another round of drinks. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, sure. Four ales. Will do. She begins to pour. You know, earlier today, the Elatrian elves, I don't know if you know them, they're in Trickster's Thicket there to the west. They were in negotiations with the Radirans because the Radirans are interested in possibly resettling somewhere now that Radira is under attack. And the negotiations were terrible. <laughs> but oh, no. that's about what I expected for a first try, finding common ground between the Elatrians and Radirans. The Elatrians are, are proud, but Time to working uh, time to work something out. I think all of this uh, leading in to what I'm going to say, which is that those negotiations were awful, and they seem significantly better than whatever's going on over there. Huh. Uh, uh, Severa kind of takes a concerned <laughs> look, like behind yeah. heated conversation, or we can't even bring herself to look back. <laughs> uh, we we they will work it out. Proud people as well. Yes, both of them. So we would like to fill them with, with ale. We can do that. We are specialists at that at the Upa Ale House. Brilliant. That is uh, four copper per ale. Right, and shut the box. Nah, there's, that's we're playing. She motions to the end of the table there. Right. Over. Always a game of shut the box going on at the Upa Ale House. I love shut the box. Very fun. How big is the table? How how big? Oh yeah, how big is the pot? Uh, have you played before? She has, uh, have I? When you play Shut You're the Box, oh, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> whatever amount is left on the board is how much you put in. There isn't a, an ante of sorts. Oh. But don't you, what's the initial betting? Oh, maybe I'm confusing my games. I've played a lot of gambling games lately. In Shut the Box, uh, there's cards on the table that right. represent a certain value. You try to get rid of them through the course of the game, and then you're mm, given right, a score right, 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 right. by how many you can't get rid of, and that's how much that money you have to game. put into the middle. Oh, right. Okay, perfect. Right. Well, I am ready to master it. Yes. Ails on me. Oh, right. Okay, thanks. You know, I've had a bit of luck today, so I might join you later. But oh, I'm a little right. busy at the moment. Oh, fun. Perfection. You have a that good night? Good. Pretty good. good. Like I said, negotiations? Yeah. But the rest of the night? Not so bad. Are you moderating these negotiations? Um, moderating, no, but arranging is the word I would use. And do you, may I just, since I am not terribly familiar, do you sway with the side of the Radirans that they should be trying to find this new home with the Elytrians? I like to think that I'm a neutral party, but I don't know. I think the Radirans believe me to be not entirely separated from my Elytrian roots. Oh, that's right. I forgot. My apologies. No apology necessary. Well, I hope they find a home. Me too. I think the elves are stronger when they stick together, but can't always convince them of that. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to get a little sad? <laughs> She's going to start taking the beers. Sure. You do so. Two beers. <laughs> Sabira and Orba double fisting ales there down to the end of the bar. And we'll say about this time is when Erlen walks over. All right. I'm gonna sort of go up to the people. Are they, you guys already the people yeah. playing? Yeah, you guys are Great. converging there as you're <sighs> heading in that Drink. direction. Uh, that, uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. 
Excuse me, um, friends. Yes? Is there room for a few more gamblers? I think so. <gasps> Everybody likes a game of Shut the Box? Sure do. How many so seats do we need to pull up here? Uh, one for me. All right. so I'll sort this one out. I'll uh, watch on. All right. Anyone else? Yeah. Two seats? Three seats? All right. And it looks like there's three other people. So, so it's a group like... of I'm responsible for scoping morning. things out and getting yeah. the ale. Sure. <laughs> Someone has to be on lookout. So once again, we'll <laughs> we will uh, yeah, we can briefly box. go over the rules of shut the box. I fully thought this was a dice one. Yes, no. That does no. seem more like a shut the oh, wait, box. This is not the one I did well at. I think you did do. You did well do well at this. Uh, oh, you right. had a couple busts. You had a couple of sad, sad oh, busts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the one where uh, Orba, why don't you grab two dice there? Okay. You roll two d six. Oh, two. To standard die. Can I have another d6? Ghostbusters. Roll the two of them. Add them up. Ghostbusters. Nine. Nine. So you get to shut the shut or flip over cards that equal up to nine. And it doesn't have to be two cards. It could be three cards or four cards. Any combination that you want that adds up to nine. And the objective is to flip over all the cards and you keep rolling until you get a number that you can't make. Right. And whatever number is left on the board, you add that up and that's your score. And that's how much money you have to put in. Right. So if there was you know, 11 left on the board, you throw in 11 copper. And everyone goes around and the person with the lowest score at the end of the round gets the whole pot. They get to take whatever's been thrown. Right, got it. Cool. Great. Yeah. Um, well, actually, for some, we'll say there's two other people that are joining you guys, so five total in this group. And is there like a, are there like people sitting around, like I know some yeah. watching, are there people sitting around sort of like? Yes, there's other cool, people cool, cool. watching the game, certainly a lot of eyes Big kind crap. of up over the side, some people checking it out. It looks like people are also, someone will play around and then sit out the next one. So people are kind of tagging in intermittently in the game. So you guys are playing with two other people. Um, my name is Hayden, and this is Diego. We will be joining you for this round. Nice to meet you. Greetings. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, newcomers are always welcome to go first. Is anyone inclined to uh, feeling lucky? Go ahead. Okay. Have at it, miss. Eight. All right. So you get to flip over any numbers that add up to eight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's. Oh, the other names were Hayden and Diego. Number that adds up to eight. Let's do the three and the five, please. Three and five. I forget them. <laughs> forget the strategy. You forget the strategy. Too. I can't remember if we want the outermost to stay in or the innermost. <laughs> All right, another roll. Yeah. Oh, and also, uh, once the numbers on the board, if they ever add up to six or less, you roll one die instead of two. Oh, so okay, once so it, you're not. It gets whittled cooked. down. Yep. Uh, seven. Seven. And as she's thinking, there's some idle chatter around. Enjoying your night so far? Yes, relatively. I've been here about a, what, a four days now, five days. Oh, um, newcomers, welcome to Navika Pool. Thank you. Lovely town so far. I feel like. You look a little familiar. Bermice Yord concert? Ah, uh, uh, yes. It was a lovely concert. Uh, She's magnificent. She is. Uh, I'm planning on going over to Hall of the Sophia at some point. Oh, again. Right. That's right. I forgot she was performing over there. We have heard fantastic things about that bar. It's nice. It's not quite as good as this one. It's a little pricey, to be honest. It's a little stuffy for my taste. Don't yeah, you think? I mean, I'd go there for a good show, but, you know. Go ahead and pick your. Uh, as the, this is all happening simultaneously. <laughs> I regret my decision already. <laughs> you um, made one seven. It was seven. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I think I'm gonna do. I hate. You could do a single card as well. You could do the any combination. You could do the seven. You could do oh. four two ace. Yeah. I want to move the seven, please. Seven it is. Yeah, it's three. Have another roll. Good. I can't remember. Eight. Eight. Not fucking eight. Uh, planning to catch a concert over there. Don't think so. Um, heading out of town relatively soon, actually. Heading out of town tomorrow. Where are you off to? Well, we are bounty hunters, so we're heading north. We hear there's some good bounty hunters north. I, I wouldn't guess. know anything about that, but... No? No. Oh. Uh, fun... <laughs> this is sort of a funny story, actually. Uh, hmm? um, do you know uh, Shakar? He's, I think he hangs yeah, out here yeah, sometimes. Yeah, uh, Tiefling 
is sort of uh, yeah. the horns, the curling horns. Funny yeah, fellow, was, man. He's a well, really funny guy. <laughs> he gambles sometimes. Weird. Seen. Look at the Diego that he kind of points to. Yeah, he's around here all the time. <laughs> so he heard that I'm a bit of a fighter, that I take myself right. to be quite Bounty good. hunters, like Yes, you of course. Yeah, and yeah. I, he heard that I'm quite good with my fists. So he challenges me to a duel. <laughs> I know, very fancy. I try and fight him in the duel. He's not there. Disappears. Disappears. Shaking Can't find in him his anywhere. boots. So he, he challenged you to a duel on the spot and then just, what runs in the opposite direction? Well, no, we agreed on a time and a place. Oh, well, I see. And right. I haven't been able to find him. <laughs> <laughs> bit cowardly. <laughs> it sure That's is. It's a bit, isn't it? It's it sure right, is. Go ahead and do an Eight. effect as this is all happening. Just the end. Take another roll there. Seven. <laughs> I have to give him a bit of a ribbing next time I see him. Well, I, you I, should. I thought perhaps it was, you know, something better came up, something more important. But you were saying, what were you saying? He's probably, I he's think, probably frightened. I think he's frightened. I don't think, I, <laughs> look, I think you don't challenge someone to a duel and then does not show up. What's he got better to do? I mean, he didn't seem like the kind of guy who was busy, did he? I mean, he looked like... Was he inebriated at the time? Was, well, a I man listen. is a drinker. I've seen him drink. Sure, but... You know what? Here's what I think. Have you seen his shoulders? Oh, yeah. It's not. He doesn't mean, look like a compare. strong guy. Does it? Oh my <laughs> Make god! A performance check. Does it really actually? Make a performance check. And, uh, Matt <laughs> and we'll go ahead and do your. We're gonna do the six and the eight. Oh my god! It was a seven. You're gonna yeah. seem so much okay. tougher than you actually that is are. Fantastic. That means Erlen's biceps are huge. So Erlen gives a good flex, and Erlen is life. But as you flex, the the effects of the sepsis. <laughs> <laughs> what it's doing is your veins so are like really steroids. close to the oh surface. So as you flex, oh there's god. these like running veins like bulging down. Your... So even though it's not like a lot of mass, it looks like seriously like. Almost a little creepy the way the veins kind of <laughs> curl up your arm there, and you see. Ooh. <laughs> I think he might be a little frightened. Did I you, think so. You gave him a, a flex when you when you met. Of course, if you're trash talking each other, you <laughs> give him. A... That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make your roll. Double six. Double six. Uh, oh wait, twelve. Twelve. No, I think. No, that's a God damn it! All right. Oh no! Cool. You got uh, you're throwing fourteen into the pot. Oh, oh no, fifteen into the pot. Oh, man. that's a lot. Okay. Fifteen silver, right? Yeah, fifteen silver. Copper. 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 It's just copper. Oh my god! Holy shit! Unless you guys want fifteen to copper in no, the no, pot. No, 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 we don't need to do that right now. <laughs> Safira's so the only one with money. That's not a good sign. Oh no. Safira's <laughs> so like feeding Because Safira just like gives money. Yeah, they look over. There's always Safira's just like handing the yeah. rest of the party money. <laughs> She's next. our bookie. Yeah. I'll pass the dice over there. I think it's me. Oh, okay. Do you want me to use that? No, I just got confused. <laughs> All right. So what's next then? You see this guy and uh, what? You have it out then? Oh, you got to tell him the next part. Well, I'd love, to, I'd love to have a go at him, but he—he he, every time I try and find him, he's—he's he's setting up little traps like he's afraid. Yeah, Ella, didn't he send some boy after you? Yes, he yes. did. He sent some. He sent some kid he's... after him with hot oil. Ridiculous. It's kid, pour hot oil on you. Seriously. He said, meet me in La Patra. I go to La Patra all ready to fight. Well, there's your mistake. You don't want to be going to La Patra. Oh, I knew to we town. I didn't that. know that. I show up at La Patra ready for a fight. Some kid pours oil Wait, on me. Wait, so you're saying that <laughs> that he would rather send some child some to child. kind of harass you than face you face to face? Give me a group deception <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> group some Graven hasn't said anything. Child. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Graven hasn't said anything, but you, you group deception. Okay. Um, and what was your number there? Nine, nine so I'm going to do the nine. Sixteen. Nine. Fourteen. Seven. So you're looking around and you can see that the people, uh, even the ones not playing in the game that are just kind of listening in over the shoulders, some sort of gentle laughter and, and sort of ribbing at each other. Sort oh of, gosh. Oh, fucking idiot. Here, <laughs> like some people, clearly a lot of the people here at least have heard the name yeah, or recognize the description yeah. of Chicago. I don't know what it's doing. Um, what was your next roll? Uh, four. I'll do the four. No, four. <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> I think I'm crazy. Do you panic? Mm. <laughs> Seven. Natty's, no, no, nine. Now these kids, you didn't hurt these kids after they. No, 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 I ran away. Of course not. Oh. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's a kid. I ran away. I'm not trying to, <laughs> not trying to start a fight with everyone in this town. And certainly sure. not with a child. I barely, You're not trying to fight a monk. Who I barely is... even want to fight him. He's frankly not worth my time. I don't know why. It doesn't he... sound like it. Oh, but at this point, I frankly like to just have it out with him so that he 
you know, stops harassing some kids. Wait, wait, he's a monk? Where did he train? Oh, oh the... <sighs> fork... It's... It's, an, it's a snake thing. Yeah, they're not very well respected, no, frankly. I don't know. Oh, fork that. time. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't know the difference between the monasteries. It's some small... Frankly, it's the monk. It's the monastery you go to if you can't get in anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you said it best, there, Ellen. Hmm? You said it best. There's a reason the saying <laughs> "snake in the grass" is bad. That's you know. On, that's where that saying comes from. I, yeah. I think Make that's. An check. No! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, it is where that saying good. comes um, from. Oh. Uh, 19. <laughs> Cannon. You know, the last time I heard someone say that, they had just come from Shashi, and I think there's a monastery there. Is it like a monk thing? Snake in the grass? Mm. Uh, I, be. I, I believe it, because, you know, Must he's... Be. <laughs> Must be. <laughs> I've been using that for years. I guess I'll use it a little more around Mr. Murtis. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's all... It's all quite distracting, really, but at this point, if he wants to find me, I'd love to have it out with him. Well, yeah, Give but... Give a it... perception check, and what was your next number there? Uh, nine. nine. So I'll do seven and two. Okay. Oh, good one, Graven. Oh, thank you. you want to do it? Roll so confident. 19. 19. So as the conversation is taking place... I want to take a look around as well. Sure. I well, well, I mean, yeah, as you guys look around, in addition to the people in this game and sort of watching the gambling take place... Seeming like they're taking the bait a little bit, certainly, especially some of the people that you could tell recognize the name of Shakar. At first, when you mentioned him, you could see people, because they'd met him before, you know, maybe a little suspicious that what you're saying is true, but the more detail that you go into, you feel like you're getting more and more people slowly on oh board. In oh addition God. to that, Satyria has been delivering some drinks and nearby and she slides a drink over to someone that's just like on the other side of this gambling taking place and you kind of catch her mm. <laughs> just she doesn't say anything or interrupt but give a little as she hears a little snippet of the conversation oh, just no. uh, not entirely sure what's what's oh, going on in that, in that situation uh, what were you rolling eight so I'll take the eight all right doing well so far give us another roll Oh, that's uh -huh. actually very good. Uh -huh. Ten. So six, three, and one. Can oh, I do that? Oh, you can. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, Graven, you're really good at this game. Just one die now. Ooh. Gotta roll that five. <gasps> if well. I do, I win just her money. You shut the box, and everyone else pays in the maximum. <laughs> good luck, Graven. Come on. Oh. One. Oh, very close. Yeah, very mm -hmm. close. So I put in five cards. Yep, you put in five cards. Yeah, if you shut the box, everyone else has to pay the max. Of Although, value. if nobody gets h lower than that for their final, you number, still win the I round. Still win. Yep, you still win the round. Yep. So that's a that's a very really <laughs> good outcome. Good job. Thank you. So as I'm resetting the cards here, uh, all right. Best case scenario, mm. you get them to agree to the duel. Where do you have it at? <gasps> oh, that's a really good question. That's a good question. Where's a good place to have a... Where's a nice public place to have a duel in uh, Nooba? Well, I know Sandero's got a nice sort of training oh, yard. Right. That's not a bad That's idea. That's probably a bit too official, don't you think? I guess. Has he done that before? Just hosted well, organ... a duel between citizens? Uh, he's organised fights. I don't know about a duel. I have a feeling that... I've, I've met San. I quite like San. I have a feeling that this is honestly probably a bit below him, some cheeky monk mm -hmm. trying to fight someone. That might be true. That might be true. Uh, perhaps the grounds of... Are there grounds near the Boffin Estates? Pastures, farms? It's not terribly far. I was going to say, perhaps too far away for a real spectacle. Yeah, I mean, I know they've got that um, sort of hedge maze going on over there at the moment. Not that I'm sure he's going to want a real spectacle, because, you know, right, I don't I, think he's going to win this fight. I, between you and me, and I'm going to say this quietly if Satyria's not around, mm -hmm. I'd fight him on the stage of the Ube Ale House, but I don't think Satyria would like that very much. <laughs> Probably not, but <laughs> I'd watch it. <laughs> mm. Perhaps charge some gold. Maybe. Maybe have a little side bet going oh, on. Right. See That's who not a bad uh, idea. takes it home. There's a... Um, there's the, the guy next to him sort of, I'd skip the concert to watch that. Well, I don't think that's very likely. So let's perhaps just say... Too scared. I don't know it's if, such a bummer. He's too scared. But if you're like Soteria, you get like a portion of the house, no matter what happens, what the outcome is. Oh, right. Perhaps. 
Go ahead and make your roll there. Seven. So I'm going to remove the seven. Okay. Give me a couple of rolls that have been going on kind of during this. Uh, nine. Oh. I'm going to remove the nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven again. Uh, a few options. The one and the six. Okay. <laughs> it's difficult. Six. Oh. Yeah, I think you only have one option. Yep, just uh, one yeah, there. two and four. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah, you got a few <laughs> options. Eight. The eight. Okay. Oh, you go. had two options? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah the eight. I want the eight. Sure. Mm-hmm. Still yeah. two dice here. Yeah, yeah. The total. Actually, I think it actually doesn't matter either way. It's still eight. Uh, oh, still two. Still two dice. Yeah, it has to be six or below to roll one die. Seven. Ooh. Oh, oh. Not a bad outcome, but your friends just a little bit ahead oh, there. Yeah. Eight copper into the pot. Eight copper. So then it turns over to the uh, the other two. Diego and uh, uh, what was the other one? Hayden there. So what these um, these monks of the snaky tongue? What is it? That's close That's enough. That's close enough. Yeah, snaky tongue. So, huh? so what they got like a fighting style that's just not as good. Well, I mean, no... we haven't found out completely, have we? Because he seems too scared to even start a fight. But you know, Ten. maybe it's like a slithering kind of thing. Maybe like snakes. Similarly, they're more of um. A uh, running away kind of creature, or not a fighting kind of creature. Yes, right? when you have you ever seen a snake do this thing before? Perhaps it's yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> mm. yeah. Perhaps it's a lot of that, a lot of fainting until the other pony gets tired. Yeah, yeah. make a deception check. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not saying that they don't do that, but like <laughs> describing the so technique God. of the monks. Four. Four. Oh no. Nine. Nine. Like <laughs> Nine. <laughs> but. I mean, you said that he does have training, right? So he can't be like a fool. No, he, I, I, my understanding is my understanding is they focus on <sighs> trickery. So I assume if you fight with them, they try and find weaknesses, perhaps. So what is that? A professional school for jokesters? I, is it a clown school or is it a monastery that he went to? <laughs> Honestly, I truthfully don't know, but that sounds right to me. <laughs> Got a lot of ammunition the next time that Chikar shows up, eh? Mm. Uh, that's an eight. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Well, come on, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Perhaps you shouldn't roll in the clown school, huh? <laughs> got me there. Got me there. That's uh, 10, 19, 25. Thank you. Yeah, copper. thank God. <laughs> I mean, it's copper. <laughs> That's true, actually. It doesn't matter. It's going to be like four silver. Yeah, gonna... If that. I ain't no money. So he hands the die over to uh, Diego there sitting next to him. Well, if you hang around here long enough, you're probably going to see him. I mean, he does come here. Every night? I wouldn't say uh, I said he was a drinker. Night. So Yeah. Ten. Well, I'll be here having a drink. So hopefully, hopefully we'll bump into each other. If he can man up, yeah. Well, if I see anything start, you know I'm going to be betting. <laughs> I'll be right. betting on you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I would if I were you. Uh, eight. Looks like the eight there. Good choice. Mm, thanks. You're welcome. Need all the luck I can get. Got to be a five. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. Nearly shut the box on me. Uh, seven. All right, take the seven. Have you heard of anyone completing the Boffin Estate's maze, by the way? Mm, no, and you know what? That announcement should have come out already. Oh, my God. Hm. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Spears going to kind of under the table grab Earl and like, no. How do they announce it? Well, usually they uh, come over to the alehouse and post a little, these are the people that had the best times. I haven't done that. It's supposed to end. Maybe I'll take a wander over there. Hmm. Uh, Let's see. Seven. All right. Here we go, getting close. You've got this. Nine. Oh, oh. oh. oh no. I, I think it's me no matter what. Yep. Uh, three. Oh, oh my goodness. One. Shut but the box, mate. Shut the box. box. Oh, can I make everybody give it to me? No. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, all right. Well Griffin's, done. Griffin's like, <laughs> 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 Griffin's like all fun and games. Yeah. Then 
<laughs> I thought I was getting three silver. <laughs> so you guys pay Orba paid 15 copper, and uh, Graven paid yes. five copper, eight copper. That's a good round. That is a good round. Yeah, for you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Well, I have to say, I didn't know as much about Shakar as you've told me, and you've known him just a couple of seconds, perhaps. Well, you learn a lot about someone when they're scared. That is true. That sounds very wise. I like that. <laughs> learn a lot about someone scared. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, another round? What are we thinking? I think I'm quite all right. I think I'm just going to drink. All right. Have a drink now. Another drink. Do you want another round? or? I think I'm okay for now. Um, I'll play one more round with you. All right. I'll take one more. Do you want to drink? Yes, I'll go sit at the bar. Lovely meeting both Yeah, of you. thanks, and uh, <laughs> thanks for the story. Yes, mm. yeah, hopefully right. I'll, uh, I'll see you from the inside of a ring. Huh? <laughs> I like that. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so you, as there, you're yeah. leaving, you can tell, you feel that you've left with a sense of, uh, that you've bonded with some of the people here, that sort of uh, put, planted the seed, as it were. Um, you guys staying for another game? Yes. Okay, great, staying. <laughs> must win um, a, another person <laughs> joins the group. I see you. I see you. I have touched the screen every time. Four more times. Oh my god, this is pathetic. My name's Marcel, you mind if I sit in? Um, No, welcome, Marcel. So now it's Orba, Hayden, Diego, Graven, and Marcel. As Erland has left and Sophia's on to So where are you guys headed off? Just going to the other end of the bar. Um, We're going to sort of plop ourselves down. Sure, you do. Sateria comes over. Another ale. (laughs) Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, please. How'd your game go? Uh, terribly. Not mm. great. Seems like you were bonding with the locals. Well, <laughs> yes. Just swapping stories. Mm. Let me get those ales. Thank oh you. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. She grabs the drinks, brings them back. Four copper per ale. So like, if you there. start shit in my bar again. <laughs> I mean, you got the sense that, like, she could tell there was some funny business going on, but that she didn't get the sense that you were like instigating something. Like yeah, she, you yeah, didn't yeah. sense like worry in the way that like when she saw you guys during the concert, mm-hmm. she was like Stop. worried that something was going Stop on. It. And you don't get that <laughs> sense from her necessarily. So she brings the ales back. So 12 copper now, I guess total. Uh, four copper, but take away. Uh, it's fine. Four <laughs> I, gotcha. I believe you. Yes, I gotcha. <laughs> Any other plans for the night? No, honestly. No, I think we're here, and then we're sleeping, and then we're leaving, right? That's the plan. So soon. Leaving we'll tomorrow, yes. Be back, but yeah. But perhaps back. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your stay in Avikipura. It's been great. This place is great. You run a great place. <laughs> it was a difficult decision coming from Trickster's Thicket to Navikapura, but right. I've made a life here. It's not so bad. It's nice. I like it here. So. Um, Daldun was quite... Nice. Actually. She raises an eyebrow. She, she, mm. it, you immediately sense that she maybe saw him with those at some mm. point, and she's surprised that he, you know, bequeathed one to you. I'm quite honored, honestly. It's quite beautiful. You should be. Commemorative urns are a sign of respect among the Redirans. Yes, I'm not particularly familiar with, um, well, elven culture in anti Suyu. No, yeah, so. This is a. He, he led me to believe it's sort of a, um, a burial urn of some sort. Yes, um, when Radirans die outside of the grove, they're meant to be carried back in an urn of that kind. Right. Well, I'd, um... Yes, I know embarrassing little about elven culture, honestly. There are a lot of them. It's not embarrassing. But worth studying if you have the time. Sure. They have a lot to offer us. My uh, father was a, um, was a... enjoyed studying. Oh. Quite an extensive library. Here in Nabikapura? No. Oh. Across the across the ocean, across the sea. And did you follow him in these scholarly pursuits? I tried. Wasn't very good at it. Didn't take. Didn't take. But no, he had quite a few books about, you know, really everything. Right. Including, uh, you know, I assume, I never got through the entire <laughs> library, but... What's your last name? Loftefell. I'll have to see if I can find some of his books. He never wrote. He never oh. wrote. He just uh, a collector of books. Oh, yes. mm. He was an elf. Mm. Well, maybe sometime you'll recall some of your favorites. I'll take a look. Late Intentions was one of his favorites. Late Intentions. Haven't heard of it? I'll look into it. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, have a good evening. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. 
course. Oh, thank you. She slides her way down the bar. You guys have a moment here? Is that true? Excuse me? That's your dad? Yes. Oh. Right. Were you close to him? Sure. Wait, Latent Tensions was your dad's favourite book? No, it was a notable one of his collection. It's a rather sort of obscure tome. Huh. Okay. Your mom was the human one, then? She still with us, or...? Yes. Oh, that's nice. I assume. Oh, you don't know. Well, that's sad. Right, okay. Um, so... I'm looking around the bar for a second, like, see, trying to see if I can't catch a glimpse of any... Perception check. Any shikars. Shikars <laughs> that might be lying around. 16? 16. Ooh. So you don't keep sight of shikar. What you do one. notice, a couple of those people that were standing around watching the gambling have now, like, sprinkled yeah, to other tables, mm. and there's a little bit of... He's going to tell. Like, He's going to tell. He's going yeah. To tell. He's going a little to bit of uh, rumors <laughs> <laughs> seeping through the patrons of the Upe Ale House. Look, rumor is starting. Well, that's good news. So, so, if we're lucky... I might be getting in a fight tonight. Yes. Do we think it's a good idea for us to just, I don't know, I suppose we wait and then do we butter him up with drinks or do we just try to... I think if he shows up, he's going to be rather angry. <laughs> well, yes, that's kind of the idea, isn't I shouldn't isn't drink it? too much of this. No, uh, be careful, please. Please don't drink too much. <laughs> Um, I'm also not going to drink too much, but I think my tolerance is After higher than yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Starting. So, no. so I, I, I'm, I can take more of this. Sort of taking it down very quietly. To be clear, yep. I don't think he's going to fight fair, and I have no intention of doing the same. Uh, okay. Um, if things get dicey, don't be afraid to... To help? Yes. Oh, I, I wasn't going to not help, All but right, um, I, I was going to ask... Uh, what should we do if he does come and in, in so far as not wrecking Satyria's bar? Oh, I'm not going to... F- I will not throw the first punch in here. Oh, okay, good. So we're waiting for him to throw the first punch. If he throws the first punch, it's not my fault if some chairs get broken. Absolutely. I, I think I agree with that. So We hope that we can goad him into throwing the first punch and then we can accidentally kill him. Accidentally. Accidentally, of course. Oops. Oops, indeed. Roman smiles and takes a very small sip. Very (laughs) modest sip. And it chases it with water immediately. (laughs) And bread. Just a full loaf of raw (laughs) bread. As the game is going on at the other table, just as the cards are kind of being shuffled and uh, redistributed for another game of Shut the Box, there's a man that approaches the table. Sort of larger human man that has... Not a full set of, he kind of has leather leggings, like that sort of covering his leg, leg armor. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of uh, bracers as well. He doesn't, he's not like fully clad in armor. And he has a nicer, but not sort of expensive tunic that he has on. And he approaches quickly and he looks like he's looking for someone and then seems like he spots Graven and starts to walk in his direction. Probably... Decently built, a little over six feet tall, with a shaggy head of hair. And he comes over, and you expect him, based on his appearance, to kind of come on strong, perhaps. But he very politely kind of reaches out and taps you on the shoulder. Can I speak with you for a moment? (laughs) In regards to what? Negotiation tomorrow morning. It's okay. All right. Thanks. We'll get up. I'll bring him right back. Okay. He takes a couple steps away. Mm-hmm. You're uh, hired to be Lem Stonehand's muscle, yeah? Yes. Yeah. I'm the muscle for Mrs. Megalore. <laughs> okay. I'll get paid more if we get into a fight. <laughs> yes. Is it the same for you? Yes. Oh. So? <laughs> do you know what this is about, this negotiation? Yeah, something to do with the bakery or something. <laughs> oh my god. Do you care about whether it goes well or not? The negotiation? Yes. I don't really care so much whether or not she gets the deal she wants. 
How do you suggest we start this fight? <laughs> you want to instigate or me? <laughs> I'm not a very good actor. <laughs> so I prefer to you, but I'll do it if you're, not, if you're worried about it. Oh my god. To what end? We have a bit of a tussle. <laughs> Keep it clean. No weapons. That way, at the end of the day, we said we did our jobs. All right, but we should have some kind of a sign if we think that it's enough. Yeah, we have a bit of a tussle. Someone goes down to the ground. We say that's enough. Down to the ground? Yeah, just, you know, like, knock it down to the ground. Just fists, you know, no kicking, no, no, no weapons. Very well. I could use the gold. Yeah, me too. They pay shit, huh? Mm. Yes. They look like they could spare it. Truly. All right, well... Uh, I've been to one of these before, have you? No. Uh, probably going to talk a little bit and then going to separate themselves, sit at a table or something where we can't hear them. And we're meant to stand guard, you know, make sure nothing happens. I guess you sort of insult me or something and then we have a bit of a tussle. What if he refuses to pay me if he thinks that I started the fight? Well, that's why... I was asking if you wanted to do it or me. <laughs> because whichever one of us can make it more convincing that, I don't know, it was mutual. That way it doesn't look like it was anyone's fault. <sighs> All right. We Sick. can make you both look like we're, you know, protecting their interests. You say, well, no, I'm not going to... Let let it let it get the percent. Both, that, yeah, we like could both say that the other started it. Yeah, right? like <laughs> trying to yeah, like trying we, to really defend. Yeah, like you said, oh, you know, Lem's right, and I said no, Miglo's right. We have it out. Let's think on it. Yes, I'm gonna have them. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my all right, gosh. all right. It's in the morning. Not a lot of time to think on it. No, truly. Six thirty, I think we said. Yeah, it's early. Yeah. I just wanted money. Yeah, same. All right. All right. No. So you still starting it, yeah? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll let you decide how you want to do it. All right. Um. Try not to. Uh, try not to punch me in the gut. Oh. Okay. Is it sensitive? <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Oh. <laughs> All right. I got like a. I got like a. It, it hurts. I'm sick. Kind of. <laughs> On one side. Yeah, it's sore right here. It's like a cramping. Oh, okay. I'll... So maybe nothing to the body. Yeah. What about the other side of the body? <laughs> well, I guess you can do that. Yeah. Okay. This was stupid. Well, nice not meeting you. Yeah. Wink. <laughs> oh yeah, like because you have met me. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. Like I said, I need the money. All right, I'll see you there. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He shuffles off, oh kind of God. in his own meandering, <laughs> slow pace. Off. Better well, not hit wait. him in his <laughs> Oh, gosh. How much money were you promised? Huh? I don't know this guy. See what I did there? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Very good. Very good. How much, how much gold? Um, I was told I'd be given 30. And another 30 if we go on too far. All right, well, if either one of us gets refusal of payment, maybe we could talk about splitting what we do end up getting. Well, it's not a bad idea. How much will you promise? The same. Mm. Mm. All right, yeah, sure. All right. Sounds good. Okay. But try and make it look good. Of course. You know. All right. See you then. Yeah, see you then. Waddling kind of off, one foot at a time, moving the opposite direction. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. You <laughs> are so sweet. Yeah.
you're dumb. Uh, <laughs> how much he gave me? 50. 50 50. I mean, yeah. he had no reason not to believe you. He yeah. was Aww. like, that's what I'm getting paid. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that is where we're going to stop. Oh, oh, my God. God. If that you hit him in his sore spot, I will kill you. That's I mean, so even just so once. Sweet. Just a light one. What a little sweet guy. If oh it seems like I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down. He's so hurt. He's such a nice guy. Oh, my God. I love him. Can you make it money? I wrote to John. I was like, nothing bad can happen to him. It's a lot of money. It's worth this, right? I agree. So with a couple fights on the horizon oh maybe God. question mark oh yep. god mm. yeah a, a, a plan in motion to smear the reputation of Mr. Smear Shikar. the snake oh Mr. Shikar, Mr. Shikar Marges. if um, that plan works it will have been our dumbest successful oh for sure truly just gamble truly and, and shit talk, talk shit. someone yeah. talk shit get hit man <laughs> yeah and talk, talk shit get hit talk shit get a hit a classic oh my God, D&D we're all gonna plan. get hit yeah. we're all gonna get hit uh, uh, a shit, lot of people have been it and sub we're on like a fucking crazy hype train right oh, yeah, now yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna oh, just yeah. take two, a couple two? seconds here Toot toot, toot toot yeah. indeed. Toot toot, toot indeed. Oh, toot toot. Is that your train? No, it's a train toot toot. It's a very small train. Yes, it is. We train. Give me a bigger hype train. Toot toot. There we go. I'll play a toot for you. Don't. No. <laughs> There's a reason my name is Tony Toots. So, we have oh, no. um, uh, Nova Ohm subbed, Somber Gifted 5 subs, hey. Look It's Mike O did 150 bits, Cool Schaefer did 500 bits, <sighs> Banished Raven did a total of 500 bits, I believe, oh if I did my God. math correctly. Oh my lord. Oh, and I'm uh, gonna butcher this yeah. goddamn Ooh, here's name. a good one. Oh, here we go. CPL Ziggy USMC oh. did a sub as well. Cool. Cool. A pretty I mean, how good could one. that be anything else? It's because I mastered it in yeah. my brain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. While you were talking Look to that oaf, <laughs> she was <laughs> practicing the name over it. Um, so I think I got everybody's thank you so much. Oh, yeah, so Corporal. It's short for Corporal, someone pointed ah. out. Oh, Indeed. yes. Oh, yeah. What an idiot. <laughs> I still said lump cho about yeah. someone I mean, that, that I one was know. Rough. That was, it's that was pathetic. Bad. That was the most uh, rough. I did my best. But thank, thank you, guys. you all so, 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 so much. Um, yeah. We hope you enjoyed the show. Oh, so much goodness. more to come. Still a few episodes left of season one of A Peek Beneath the Veil. Oh, my gosh. Um, and... We will hopefully see how this picks up next time. Some yes. sort of the group waiting to see how a few things play oh. out. A couple of contracts up in the air for the morning with the Mull Affairs. Bruce Fitzroy waiting to uh, oh view your magical expertise. Someone's going to blow up the Speederway. Yeah, y'all have Like, low key, was that a group of people some, trying to blow yeah, up the Speederway with some Alma Franco bombs? Like, what was that? <laughs> oh my God. We're going to find out. What do you have? Oh, you forgot. Yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah. You have to have to wait. We're gonna I was going to let you read it if you wanted to. How dare you? Oh How dare you? Stop panicking. Calm down. Oh, baby. <laughs> How to uh, make Raven angry 101. Tell him to calm down. Tell him he's scared and he should calm down. Nothing oh, like telling someone yes. to calm down when you're in the middle of a fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing like always that. Works. It always mm -hmm. works 100% of the time. We're going to let you enjoy the rest of your Try night. it on we your are. partner tonight. No. <laughs> Don't try it. Have a great remainder of your weekend. An excellent week. Oh. Have an awesome time. We will see you next time, 7 o'clock. Right here, Twitch, <laughs> Tabletop <Yes>. Notch. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed yeah. it. Is that what her name Stuck is? Stuck it. Stuck the land. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Night. We'll see you then. Oh. Good night. Woo -woo.